This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, the Halloween Spooktacular kicks off with Chee 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 Ha Ha Ha. It's Friday the 13th, 2009. I'm Andrew Jupin. Tunnel dwelling Steve Sadak. <laughs> Chris Cabin. <laughs> Eric Slashka. And we hate movies. <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Sometimes. That is what I... Zombies have entered the building. They're at the door. They're coming in. It is time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. What the fuck are you doing? What an excellent day for an exorcism. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the program. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Welcome to the 2019 Halloween Spooktacular. Some may say mm-hmm. the best time of the year. Mm, I that person's I, me. No, I, I, I am too. <laughs> Hopefully, we were recording this in early September. Hopefully, mm. by now, I could wear a fucking jacket in New York no, City. Jesus Christ. Nope. I'm going to say no to that. Yeah. That's early November you're going to yeah. be looking so at right as, there. If you're a new listener, as always, we start the episode with a weather report. <laughs> Do you remember when David Lynch used to do weather reports on yes. like Twitter? I watched, I read them all the time. So hilarious. It's great. Yeah, exactly. I'm exactly like David Lynch. Exactly. Both exactly. geniuses. Exactly. Both geniuses. Total geniuses. Twisted artists. We're uh, going to have him on our new podcast, Weather Weebs. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Uh, speaking of genius, uh, <laughs> this is indeed Friday the 13th from 2009, directed by Marcus Nispel. And if you're like, hey, man, that name sounds kind of familiar, it's because you may have watched the fucking horrendous Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake that he also did. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, also, that movie's a fucking oh, pile of donkey I shit. I think he did Eric. commercials and stuff. He did a lot of commercials, yeah. but uh, he also besmirched Eric in a very personal way. Oh, really? He remade Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> was that him, too? That's him as well. Wait, wait, yeah, that I was... just love doing the remakes, you know? It's a lot of fun to just do things people already did. <laughs> was that the one with The Rock? No, it's Jason Momoa. Oh, right. Shit. Hey, Did Eric, I'm going up? to remake your wedding video <laughs> <laughs> with your wife sometime. Uh, tricks on you, Marcus. I don't have a wedding video. <laughs> oh, Eric, look at this. In your wedding video, you've been recast with Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Respect. Hey, better marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this movie, man, um... I was thinking of Hercules with the rock. Oh, yes, oh yes, right. Yes, yes, I, I yes, figured yes. as much. Uh, this is a bad movie, but it's a movie that shockingly, at least to me, and I think Steve, mm. was not as bad as we remembered it to be. I, I was on that train, too. Like, wow. but, yeah. but, well, we should really get into exactly what happened when we decided to go see this movie. This, yes. yes. Take us back <laughs> 10 years. With 10 years, and we decided uh, we went to see it. Was at the Kips Bay? Yeah, Kips, 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 Kips Bay. Bay yeah. and, uh, Underrated theater in New York City. FYI. Not bad. I it's agree. great because it's so out of the way. It's not near a fucking train at yeah. all. Mm. And it's it's usually you can get in, you know, and it's not too crowded. I only That's... had one bad experience there. I saw this one that we're about to talk about. <laughs> well, actually, okay, two bad experiences. <laughs> uh-huh. When I saw Star Trek Beyond, uh-huh. it was kind of it was kind of an empty theater. It was a nice experience, but then I some dude in front of me was picking his nose, and it was like Really like elastic oh, rubbery snot. What some wet stuff going on? Was like he trying to feed it to you? Wet, wet and <laughs> God long. God damn it! No, he was rubbing it on all the seats. <laughs> What? And I was like, what is this madman doing? <laughs> Update, I'm never going back to the Kips Bay. <laughs> they do it everywhere, though. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah mean, that, guy's, that guy's going everywhere. You, the you've sat in Booger. Dude, okay. Deal with it now. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go back to the traditional story of Friday the 13th. By the way, uh, before you tweet about it, yes, we've talked about this before, but we have yes. to talk about it on the episode. Like, this is the episode. Yeah. Yeah. To talk about it. And also, we, it's called New Listeners. Yeah, we talked about Selfish this? Selfish fools. Oh, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure we did, yeah. Man. We've told this story on the air, maybe on mail bags or I something. I think on another Friday the 13th. Yeah. Uh, but, but so this movie Christopher. came out yes. yeah. February the 13th, which was a Friday, Ooh. 2009. 
Getting Take ready. it from here, Chris. Okay. Getting ready for that Valentine's Day. Ooh, sexy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, a, right across the way from the Kips Bay Theater is a fireman bar. Yeah, I or believe. at least there used to be. I don't remember. I haven't yeah, been there. Yeah, they might not be there anymore. It's called like Hook and Ladder. Maybe? Yes, yeah. yes, that sounds right. Yeah. Uh, it was just, but it was the thing where I was like, oh, let's go because we were all working. We were firemen. We were all <laughs> working <laughs> as firemen. It's a Friday night. You know, it's, it's February. Like, oh, well, we should meet up after work for a quick drink, and then we'll go to the movie. Right? We'll go to the movie. We'll a quick yep. drink. Just a quick drink. Mm. Mm-hmm. Quick drinks is what it turned into. <laughs> well, we uh, like drinking a, quickly, I think. This was, was like a 10 p.m. showing, and we just got fucking hammered. <laughs> hammered. We so drank hammered. A bunch of tall boys. Andrew smuggled a few out of Yes, the- into the theater, right? <laughs> yes, because I, I was so drunk. I was like, I don't care if I get this woman fired. And I went up to the bartender, and I was like, hey, can I have four PBRs? And she was like, okay. And I was like, and can you do me this solid? Don't open any of them. <laughs> And she was like, that's against the law. <laughs> and I could get fired. And I just went, oh, come on. <laughs> and she was like, okay. And she, she just gave me these beers. Wait, I'll be I put them friend. in my backpack. When you walk out of your apartment one day and get shot in the belly, <laughs> it's going to be that one. Back, I got, I gave it all up for you. It it took me 10 years. That ruined my life. <laughs> but I mean, this, it was one of those times when you're like, you get in for a good old fashioned drunk for a couple of hours. I haven't done this in very, very long right. time. Yeah. When you're with the same bartender, it's kind of like going to summer camp together. Like you mm. have a shared experience. Very Absolutely. The 13th of you. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so we, it, you got mm-hmm. uh, these beers, and we went in. We were drunk, and we none of us remembered it. I don't remember. I don't remember a fucking. Uh, I don't remember a, a minute of. I remember the tunnels. That's all I One fucking thing remember. I vividly remember from this experience is I started to get hungover while in the theater. <laughs> yep. And my head was pounding. Like every time Jason took a footstep, it was like boom, right in my brain. <laughs> uh, but yeah. did all of you stay awake for the entire movie? Uh, I. Th- think probably i know yeah. you fell asleep right well, we all scattered because everybody had to like it was, it was packed it yeah. was packed and we we didn't show up on time no was but some of us were sitting together okay. and it was kind of like the front row yeah. and because i had drank i drank all of those beers before the previews were yeah. over with so that's like four beers in like 25 minutes. sure great life <laughs> in decision. addition oh, to the other eight you had yeah. probably yeah yeah no but this was back in the day dude we were in our 20s we were invincible and that's one of those things where like dinner was planned thought about and then removed from the equation <laughs> yeah. it was just like <laughs> that's exactly well, why right. would we do that we can't drink well, what, what, are, what are you talking about yeah, well if we go you? get dinner that's less time to spend at the bar we want to go yes, to there might be popcorn <laughs> yeah that's exactly the sour patch kids <laughs> that's uh, dinner <laughs> and i went to the i went the to the bathroom Room. steak oh, oh. oh. <laughs> give me a giant one anyway, uh, this is a uh, steak crusted in a lot of weird sugar uh it's <laughs> a green steak rock and roll this is gonna be at my <laughs> new restaurant you yes, been a <laughs> sour chemical chicken <laughs> uh no so i had to fucking take a leak and i went i went and used the restroom and then i came back to the theater and i instantly realized i had no idea where we were sitting and so I looked around for a little bit. I let my eyes adjust to the darkness again. That didn't help. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. So I looked in front of me, and directly in front of me was an empty chair. And this girl was watching the, the film, and I went up to her, you know, kind of quietly. I didn't want to bother the people around me, you know, and I just went, Excuse me, is this you, Jason? And I scared the shit out of her. She was like, What? No! And I was like, Oh, okay. Jason? You wearing a yeah. hockey mask at the time? Dude, it was a 4D experience, man. I was part of the show. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you very much. And I sat down and instantly passed out. Sure. And I woke up and, and the credits were on. <laughs> I don't think I was next to anybody, but I did at one point let out like a like really disgusting loud burp. Oh, and yeah. not yep. and that wasn't the bad. The bad part was like right after it, because I didn't know where I was, I get a, a big Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're in the shower. Yeah. That is only acceptable in the shower. I mean, so that's just let this be a lesson to you kids. Don't get fucking blasted and then go to and, the movies. You will bother people and, and fall asleep. For the next 10 years, we've been sh- like shitting on this movie yes. nonstop, and we I, don't remember anything about it. True, but I think it's partially valid. You sure. Got, I mean, I. 
I did like it more this go than that initial round. Yeah. <laughs> but I still think it's very, near the very bottom of this franchise. We you did know? we did a whole ranking episode. Oh, right, the rankings. I believe the, Eric, because uh, Chris was in Germany at the time, but he oh, wrote an yeah. article. Oh, he was with <laughs> Nispan! <laughs> hey, Chris, I'm going to remake your night out with your friends without you. <laughs> hey, Chris, your new night out with friends stars Jason Momoa! <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm going to remake your life. Now you live in the Germany. <laughs> but no, better uh, night out. Uh, but we ranked this at the bottom for, like, without, none of us had rewatched it. We were like, oh, oh I didn't have time to rewatch it. That's the, the worst one. But I probably would have changed a little bit. Yeah, it would right. change very the map. Slightly, we very did, slightly. We did rank, did we rank this at the bottom? Is I, it, I, I you, feel like we did. I think yeah. all of us did. Yeah. I think my new evaluation, I'd put goes to hell at the bottom and then this may be right before it. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, probably around that. Mm. Jason I, X is still at the bottom. J- yeah, no, right. you're yeah, right. Jason, Jason, X, is Jason X is bad, but it's 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 fun in what it's trying to do. Right. Sure. It's yeah, it's trying to be a Jason fan film. It succeeds at that, <laughs> you know. Uh I will say though, uh what I didn't really put together until this watch through, which may have been the first sober watch through. Sure. This was 9 a.m. with a cup of coffee. Oh, nice. Uh I had no real I I didn't notice, I guess. Maybe some of them I noticed, but like this movie is basically a mashup of the plots of the first four films. Right. Yeah. Yep. And I think that's something it does really well because those first four movies, I'll be honest, there's not <sighs> a lot it. of movie there. No, oh, there's no, not that much I mean, movie. To be fair, there's not a lot of movie here either. No. Well, that's I mean, the, but the idea is that you just fucking funnel it all into one piece of hunk of shit. But Kevin, four agree. containers filled with nothing melded together <laughs> is still just one container filled with nothing. Yeah, I, but I get all the story in one shot. I'm happier. Right. I I like what one, two, three, four. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think I like two and three and four. Fuck, I like them all. Yeah, I, I know. but the but like the first movie is maybe the most forgettable for me because it's not Jason as the killer, which I like. The first one's really got a lot of cool atmosphere, which you almost get in this movie, but then you don't because these these fucking red cameras just rob everything of any soul or texture. Exactly. And then you're finished with the plot of movie number one before the end credits. Finish. Before the opening credits. Right. Yeah. That's I would us. hope Thank it's you. finished by Thank the time you. the end credits finish. But no, you're right. Yeah, before the fucking like the cold open is the last scene of the first movie. Well, the basically. weird thing is the beginning of this film doesn't take place in Crystal Lake. It takes place in Sin City, which is odd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing with that black and white. What are we trying to accomplish in this spell? <laughs> Miss Voorhees was throwing out axes like they were candy. <laughs> wow, you remembered know. anything from Sin City? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Did you see that little yellow guy's ball sack in that movie, or was that just the comic? He no, gets it see- cut off, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets it ripped out, and you hear Ooh. it. It's like a balloon getting ripped off, and oh. you see it in uh, Willis's hand, I do and believe. That okay. was Nick Stahl? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah. famous yeah. lost Hollywood actor. Yeah, Nick dude, Stahl. that's where he went, dude. He got sucked into Sin City. <laughs> that's a movie. When but yeah, it gets it's-, its claws into you. <laughs> Anyone notice that I'm, almost, I'm only looking at Andrew, who uh, plays Mrs. Voorhees in this movie? I didn't look up who it was. Not a visitor, actually. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? Yeah, of uh, that's why she DS9 was only, fame. That's why she was only in that one scene. She was just visiting. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Nailed it. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Oh, man. I watched that whole... <laughs> Remember DS- to give us five stars on iTunes, by the way. <laughs> I watched that whole DS9 documentary. It takes itself a lot too serious. Dude, I've seen people being like, I was crying at that documentary. Yeah, you could you could keep it. <laughs> then you cry too much. I'm sorry. I'm going to say that right now. But yes, yeah, so it's like the end of the first movie. It's literally, it's we'll call her the final girl. Uh, right. Alice, I think the character's name was at the time. I don't know. They they name her in this movie. And basically, it's it, it's kind of amazing. Nana Visitor is doing her best in, in this. Like, it's just, she's like, you, she has, it's like basically, like, all right. You have to dispel the entire movie in one line. Right. Go. She's yeah. like, you, you were responsible for my son's death, and I've systematically killed all of your friends, and now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got your, your one friend. I got Kevin Bacon. I got your other friend. The one thing that's different, though, is that at the end, so she gets decapitated all the same. Mm. God uh, bless. What's that? Is it God bless? Yeah. Oh, oh. Did someone sneeze? And then she said, you Bajoran scum, and she <laughs> cut her head off. <laughs> really racist, by the way. Super racist. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but then you see little Jason come out of the forest. Mm. And so this this 
telling of the story is it confirms straight up like he never died. He was just I guess he became like a little like rat child yeah. in the woods. I kind of forgot, though, in the first in the first movie, is it it's like a thing wherein Jason dies and then 10 or so years later, uh, Mrs. Voorhees goes nuts, right? It's not those exact counselors she's punishing. It's just whoever happens to be at the camp at the time. It's whoever happens to be there. And I think it, it's several Years, yes, well, but, however many years, but yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But it's on a Friday. I, I don't think we get a diagnosis at any point. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. But this you. one's very clear. It's like you people, you exact. Now I haven't done oh, a rewatch I didn't notice that. in a while. Jason was he always he always lived right because in the second movie he's just like a dude with a yeah. with a bag over his head. Right. Well, it's weird because at the end of that first movie, like the jump is like it's a it's a. I always thought it was supposed to be like a deformed zombie person, uh, ju- like way more supernatural. Yeah. yeah. This is just, it's like a little blonde kid runs up and he's like, oh, my mother was decapitated and takes yes. the machete and walks off into the woods. And because this, I've if you read the IMDb trivia about this and like what the creators of this wanted to turn it towards is like, he's not. A paranormal monster. He's like a weird survivalist just living in the woods. Living which, off the grid with electricity which i guess he's got he's like oh, i'm jason i'm rigging up some solar panels <laughs> I mean, that look at these enough. garden vegetables i grew here <laughs> off the grid i'm saving so much money with solar panels where did he get this knowledge to build this tunnel system here's the thing again vietnam Definitely Vietnam. <laughs> well, actually, Master Wayne, uh, Jason Voorhees' parents were involved in the Underground Railroad, they were. Which was a literal Underground Railroad. <laughs> Choo-choo! <laughs> no, this was crazy. Again, sober viewing. Uh-huh. This was the first time I noticed this. It's literally one fucking line uh, that's in this next part of mm-hmm. this, like, long-ass cold open. This is not cold anymore. No. This is, like, medium-rare open. This, this, this what... open got left out on the table overnight. <laughs> the center is still frozen, but th- <laughs> it's hot outside. Damn, damn, it's raw. It's bloody raw. <laughs> damn, this opening's raw. <laughs> this is not for season 10. This cold open is a season 2 cold open. Is he still talking that way oh, on those shows? Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. that's great. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's a thing where... So, so after all this happens, we're introduced to like a, another group of kids that are going, they're walking through the woods looking for a campsite or whatever. And one of the dudes makes mention of there were mines. Oh, so that's okay. what those, I always thought the same thing. And I think I've said it incorrectly on the mm. air before that, like, how did he dig those tunnels? There's one dude who it's blinking. You miss it says, Oh, yeah, and there's supposed to be that mine around here, blah, blah, blah. So he's hanging out like old mine shafts. Oh, man. So maybe Voorhees is the other, and there's like a, a, a successful Jason. It's like us, Jason Voorhees. <laughs> oh, like, yes. like up, up front, like nice suit and tie, Jason oh, Voorhees. Yeah, here's indoor. my business card. If you, if you look at that cerulean white we got there. We are Americans. <laughs> oh, he'd definitely be part of the alt right, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the, I think you got something there. Like Jason yeah. became untethered. Yeah, yeah with the untethered. <laughs> That's right. I mean, with, if it wasn't for the deformity, he would have you know g- gone on to great things. I mean, yeah. To Eric's point, like he, he I, I do it was mines, but he's using them. He's got electricity running through there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a plumbing s- situation. He has. I'm not an animal. Well, <laughs> there's a toilet in that house. Yeah, I don't know if it's a flushable toilet. <laughs> it might be like, uh, all right, it's filled. Go get the ladle. Oh, I must. I might be untethered, but I did go to community college and I learned a little bit about structure and <laughs> was able to uh, build a home for myself here with some torture cages, as you see right here. <laughs> uh, so we're told Crystal, Di- Crystal Lake present day, these campers are coming in and these two dudes, one of which uh, was one of the uh, artists on Mad Men. Uh, Gin- he played Ginsburg. Ginsburg. He's, he's now on that show Superstore, which people watch. There are people Super who tune in store. for Superstore. Yeah. Most of them are on airplanes. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I think the audience are people watching reruns of it on airplanes. Well, we uh, do quite well with the 30,000 feet demographic. <laughs> uh, Look, we've got to put content somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I'll stick it up in the sky. Uh, no, so so this, this group is coming through. Uh, yeah, it's Ginsburg from Mad Men. A bunch of fucking horny ass people. 
women and yes. dudes walking through here. Uh, and the one guy, like the nerdlinger of the group, is, sure. has masterminded this thing with Ginsburg where they are walking into the woods to, to a very specific location. And that location is a fucking uh, cannabis farm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they're going to fucking steal this fucking farmer's weed, man. Yeah, we're missing out on the better movie Weed Heist. Yes. Ooh. This is yeah, Jason's totally. fucking weed, by the That's way. Right, very dude. clearly. Like, this is a... No, you know, not. well, it's uh, just a little <laughs> something. To, I, I come home, I kill a bunch of kids. I want to unwind, watch a cool movie. And why does he kill those kids? Because he's got reefer madness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made a salad with all of these plants I found in the forest. What? I'm playing the piano really fast. <laughs> that is my favorite shot in Reefer Madness. <laughs> is that fucking maniac just fucking tickling the ivories and laughing the whole way. Uh, no, it's that fucking hillbilly's weed, though. Oh, that dude. That, no, he the, says he found it, too. No, no, no mannequin it, fucker says that he was growing mannequin them. Mannequin fucker is working for somebody oh. out, like, he mentions a name. Oh, there's, like, a Farmer John or something? Yeah, it's it's oh. not to get, it's to Supernatural Boy. Uh, I forget oh, uh, his fucking Padalecki. name. Jared Padalecki. Yeah, 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 that guy. He, right, right, uh, right. He, he gets the name, and he, I forget uh, what His name is Clay. That's right. Clay Higgins. Clay, no, Clay Miller after Victor Miller, obviously. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Oh. No, the Victor <laughs> No, I know, but it's just yeah. Who am, noticed that? Am I wrong? Is the uh the other dude here, the one who's really excited about yeah. the weed, is he not the lead hacker under Timothy Oliphant in oh, Die Hard Four? Yes, he one hundred percent is. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought so. That's so funny you said that because when I looked him up uh yesterday, I was like Oh, it says he's in Die Hard, uh, Live for Your Die Hard, but I don't fucking remember who. That's exactly who that's, he yeah. is. Yeah, that's right. He's the he's the hacker who hesitates. My question is, are we still in New Jersey or are we not in New Jersey? We 100% are, oh, including this time, legit Jersey license plates. Oh, shit. This is Chris Christie's New Jersey, then. This is like, <laughs> he's just closing the bridges on fucking Jason. He can't get out of there. <laughs> Wish that fucking fat prick vacationed at <laughs> Crystal Lake. I didn't mean if we're in New Jersey. I went to Parship in the uh, community college and i loved it yeah the rutgers fucking snobs up there man <laughs> yo not everybody gets into rutgers i'm just saying i think this was filmed in texas though. it was, so it was Austin, texas I think, yeah. doubling for new jersey okay hey fat body i'm stronger than the storm <laughs> <laughs> also so there's a couple things that happened in this like opening sequence that made me side with jason uh-huh. more than ever before one Stealing someone's hard-grown marijuana, mm-hmm. that's fucking ridiculous. You should die. That's my retirement plan, you <laughs> asshole. No, I was going to buy a boat. <laughs> the, the buyers are coming tomorrow. <laughs> and the other thing is, there's this fucking son of a bitch, and I get it, it's a Blue Velvet reference. Oh, uh, my okay? God, yes. But, but- they, they get around the campfire, and this this other motherfucker, this dude, he looks like he's in a fucking Aeropostale catalog, this yeah. guy. He's like, hey, man, pass me a beer. You got any Heinekens? Yeah. And Ginsburg's like, no, man, I got Paps motherfucking Blue Ribbon or whatever. And he's like, he's, oh, that fucking piss water. He says, fuck that European shit. Yes. Paps oh, right. Blue Ribbon. Totally doing a deep. Dennis Hopper. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And you know what? My, and that's why we mentioned Lynch at the top of the show. Look how... <laughs> intricate this weave is weird you're right it's very intricate weaving. <laughs> uh but yeah it's like what really you're turning your nose up at pbr but you're fucking whole hog for heineken i, I was kind of waiting for everybody else to like oh you got that shit i got am still like oh you got that shit i got cores <laughs> hey man bud heavy just as much fucking product placement as you can get in here please <laughs> i i don't get the heineken love necessarily it's it's well, fine. It's well you fine. don't like beer that tastes like a skunk's asshole. Here's the it's <laughs> it's the Heineken lobby. They are you know they are pushing all this money behind everything and it, it, yeah, but if Bond I want to fucking movies. you know whiff fucking Pepe Le Pew's taint, <laughs> there's other ways to do the it. The only I'm, time I'm I'm drinking Heineken these days is when I'm at a wedding and I I've had too much whiskey and it's time to switch to beer uh-huh. and it's always like. Well, we got Bud Light or Heineken, and it's like I'll take the Heineken. I, I, that's interesting that you go you're not for the water, but for the Bud oh no no, no, no. <laughs> well I got to keep drinking. Yeah, I think you should keep the buzz going. At the end, I'm, of, at a, I'm at a wedding, Chris. I'm not, have, I'm not having a good time. At the end of the day, Heineken is still technically beer, mm-hmm. so it <laughs> is true, fine. It's, yeah. it's fine to ingest. Mm-hmm. It's it's a perfectly sane James, James Bond beer. drinks it all the fucking time. Apparently, that was also disgusting. Another disgusting Heineken related development. The in fucking cinema. Heineken lobby is worse than the NRA, man. They got in those Bond movies. <laughs> 
Heineken shaking until it explodes. <laughs> so like, yeah, they're all kind of like, and again, this is still a cold open. Yes, this is the cold open for this film lasts around 25 minutes. I was watching with my wife and she, I was like, I think that this is like the pre kids. And she's like, no, this has been going on for a long time. I was like, no, no, I think yeah. that this is, that there's another group coming after them. And it's weird. Cause like some of these Friday the 13th movies do have cold opens, yes. but they're not this fucking long. Well, oh, this is it's a little late in the episode to ask, but which cut did everybody watch? Cause there's two on Amazon. I have the like Crystal Lake box set thing, mm-hmm. so I just had it on Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure it's just the theatrical cut that God. I watched. I, I saw extended. I saw the extended as well. Mine's like 103 minutes. Yeah. I have the exact same box set as Andrew, but I totally forgot I had it. <laughs> Or like I forgot <laughs> yeah. that was included. Yes. Yeah. I was just like, I'm on him. Oh, it looks like I'm renting a movie I own. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I do that too. Oh, I'm pretty that sure. I'm pretty sure I did theatrical though. I because it said I think it just said Friday the Thirteenth, two thousand nine. I don't think there was anything else yeah. on there. So I was just like, let's go. Because yeah, and I lo- definitely the thing that I watched was ninety seven minutes. Which is because the, the extreme cut does have a lot more gore. I think it's got a lot more gore. And it's got a lot more nudity. The the, nudity is insane. This, the, there's mean, so much nudity. What I watched, porn scene. There are porn scenes in this. What yes. I watched had tons of nudity. Okay. So did I actually. Okay. So, so I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of get into it, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. so they um so basically and also here's the thing, it's two couples. It's uh Ginsburg and his girlfriend and and this third uh, and then uh, this Johnny Heineken. Johnny Heineken and Whitney, who will learn is uh, Jared Padalecki's sister, we'll find right. out. And the fifth wheel, dude. And like the girl, the, uh, Whitney and the, her boyfriend are like, hey, we're gonna go walk around and see what's going on. Basically, like I don't know. We want to fuck because we're camping. Gone like, fucking. I don't want to be right next to you while I'm fucking. And the dude's like, the fifth wheel guy's like, hey, bring a condom. I'm not having sex for a long time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Thanks for the advice, nerdlinger. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go back to my other tent. I'm going to jerk off into a condom. We could all be using condoms tonight. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> it's so weird, though, because later in this cold open that's about the length of a Simpsons episode, I think longer, actually. <laughs> it's a tree. I was like, horror episode <laughs> uh the ginsburg is having sex with his lady friend in the tent mm-hmm. and she's like i heard a noise i think that dude is watching us fuck yeah and the guy ginsburg he's like let him watch baby let him hey you we doing get, all right out there pervert we get shots of outside of the tent of them fucking inside the tent with the light on and it's like the shadow fucking yeah. and yeah. it's like right out of austin powers <laughs> <laughs> this is just so stupid wow dude these people are having hotel sex in a tent yeah those are two different kinds of sex that's absolutely right like tent, tent sex, sex well tent here's the thing mm. tent sex on a group outing yes versus tent sex alone in the sure, woods yeah. and whatever fucking it's a, ted kaczynski <laughs> hears you out there whatever and then you have sex the, the, the quiet and the whatever yeah right but this is she's fucking screaming he's fucking screaming they're doing different positions it's you got ridiculous. one position in a tent that's it it's the tent position <laughs> i want jam it in and get it done <laughs> steve ever fucking opens a camping site just has sex rules out front. <laughs> yeah. rules recycling fucking- sex rules <laughs> well, now if you buy a cabin you can uh attempt cabin sex which again is different than hotel sex i just, <laughs> just want to be very clear about that steve just puts a knife through a north face tent it's like is that a second position? I'm saying. Is that a second position? You finished with the one you started with. No, this you're is not. Tent sex. You're not coming tonight. You're not going to do it. And I really hate this secret. Well, I really hate this movie because it has like perfume models playing yes, all yeah. these roles instead of like the grody 80s teens that's you just miss regular people yes, you do yes. and i mean like th- that's the problem with this whole idea of bringing any of this stuff this is uh less horrific than that nightmare on elm street remake which we did a, a, co- a oh, man. commentary on patreon which yeah. is available right now by the way um patreon.com slash we hate movies <laughs> Because that like misreads a lot of what that movie is supposed to be. This doesn't, but it's just still like soulless and like it's you can't do a Led Zeppelin album now. Like you know what I mean? Led Zeppelin had to be in the seventies. I feel right. like it kind of does misread what this movie is supposed to be because you got Jason Voorhees walking around setting up bear traps. Yeah, you're right. You're this right. whole you're- the whole bent of making him like a weird survivalist guy, but he's still like a total mute and deformed and what like. I don't, it just it 
kind of doesn't. Listen, work. I understand libertarians deformed and weird. <laughs> and, yeah. but dude, that's how you this. defeat Jason, dude. You mail him a box of dildos. <laughs> Only Rand Paul can stop him now. <laughs> uh, no, like I that's think who, that's who knocked Rand Paul off that lawnmower. <laughs> oh my God, his neighbor! Get off my property! Well, that's why he got like so fucked up by that guy punching him because he was fucking Jason Voorhees. Like he had he had to have surgery <laughs> after that. <laughs> Almost died. No, like I think this, uh, as compared to the Nightmare remake, this at least gives you what you are expecting. Yes. Ex- from a Jace movie. It delivers that in a soaking wet box <laughs> that's falling apart. No tape on it. Yeah, that bottom's going to fall out. It's disgusting, <laughs> but it gives you what you were, the, the, the semblance of what you were looking for. I, I do, and like, if it was going to be a survivalist thing, you have to like put more into that. Yeah. Not just like, oh, I have a tunnel now. Or just make another horror movie. Yeah, call it, sure, Tunnel yeah, Man. Exactly. Oh, shit, look out for the Tunnel Man, dude. <laughs> This day he'll dig a tunnel for you. <laughs> Look tunnel out. to hell. Look out for the tunnel man. <laughs> the tunnel man. In theaters now. <laughs> tunnel man. <laughs> it's a shot of a shovel digging. <laughs> It'd be cool. Like, you're killing people with a shovel? Yeah, well, that's not too bad. Yeah. It uh, could be like my bloody Valentine, but good. Ooh. The shoveler. <laughs> this, this October, we hope you dig it. <laughs> ah, I love it. Right? Yeah, Tunnel Man, dude. That's something. Contact us for the rights to Tunnel Man. <laughs> <laughs> rights. We all hate movies at gmail.com. Well, I wanted to make a movie about a Tunnel Man. I gotta pay these guys a million dollars. <laughs> Maybe the, I'll just uh, make something else. I'll make whole I'll make ditch digger instead. Well now <laughs> we own that too. The nerd, the nerd guy is walking around with this GPS because he's got he's he knows where the fucking meat is somehow through the GPS. And he it, like he gets a beacon. By the way, this movie is lit horribly because you know, yeah this kid is walking around uh, it's the woods he's got a glow stick and can see everything like that's not how the woods works mm. you need a fucking flashlight yeah. he's yeah he's got one of those like you crack it yeah and you're just like holding it up no way this well, isn't a high-powered flashlight that was the thing with all these movies in the late aughts like horror movies specifically mm. like the, the moon was about a mile away <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> just like right there and lighting everything it's like and a of Majora's course Majora's Mask over here ladies and gentlemen the moon's <laughs> getting shit. a little close a bit of a third day situation wow it's like nerdy dennis miller that also sounded like christian slater no problem it's like uh, melancholia but like uh, oh, oh stop <laughs> no stop it okay good okay stop right there that's good got it that that's big enough uh also this nerd of course is listening to night ranger's sister christian you can't use that song again not after boogie nights it's over it's retired nope. really the, sometimes songs get retired from movies i think my problem with its usage here is like Motherfucker, set this in the eighties. If you mm-hmm. want to use that music, you're yeah. totally right. The 80s. Because the rest of the soundtrack is just current time garbage. And so he finds the he's peeing on the weed. He's like, "Oh my god, it's the weed!" And he, uh, Jason, Jason gets him. How does he get him here? I he just he like runs at him, and you don't really see what happens. Oh, that's right. This is like ear death. Like he gets his <laughs> ear chopped off. That's yeah, the big Gins- thing. Yeah, when Ginsburg finds him later. He finds like the ear first, and like the uh, like the little uh, like iPod uh, thing. Uh, yeah, the little bud is still like in the ear, and then he's he's like up against a tree, and he's yeah. just kind of dead. So you don't really know what exactly happened. But like the thing, the difference in Jason right off the bat is he's like. He's fast moving. Yes. He's way more like aggressive and vicious kind of a thing. He's in fantastic shape too, by the way. Well, because he's out there fucking bench pressing bears or whatever <laughs> these hill people do. He built all those tunnels by himself. Yeah, that's a fucking workout if I ever heard one. He's not building those tunnels, dude. We established this. This fucking the fifth wheel is the one that says it. It was a mine. But he's got to make Maintain all the little, yeah, yes. like his and little rooms he's and everything renova- he's got. renovated the mine. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, he, maybe he flipped the mine, I'm sure. <laughs> Those are hardwood floors but in there. Later on in the film, we see him throwing canoes around. Maybe yeah, that's, that's part true. of his fucking CrossFit routine. <laughs> <laughs> you see Jason in the in the woods. He's just flipping a huge tire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, Ginsburg... Uh, Runs out because he, uh, he thinks he hears somebody. It's obviously Jason. He does find his buddy yeah, with the ear. Uh, and then he starts running back. And then he comes back to, by the way, mm-hmm. the first act of the end of Mandy. By the yes, yes you're totally yes. spoiler alert for the Nicolas Cage movie Mandy coming Which up. Which is, by the way, on Shutter. Oh, yeah, that's a great, that's it's, a great it's right, movie. It is. 
Uh, definitely doing a rewatch this month of that. Uh, and, seen it and me, but we're also missing that while this is happening, uh, sister of Supernatural boy <laughs> and her boyfriend, who looks like if you smushed all the members of the Strokes together <laughs> into yes. one person. <laughs> That's what this guy looks like. And they go into the famous, uh, the, the house. It's the yes. Voorhees estate. It's the Voorhees estate. His fucking run hillbilly cabin. Because like, hey, let's, I mean, like, and I feel like she's just like, hey, let's find a place to fuck. He's like, yeah, but it's got to be creepy. And it's like, well, no, let's just. So, well, I can't fucking shoot unless I'm terrified. It's this rundown house in the middle of the woods, you know, part of the camp. But he's like, I bet there's some cool shit in here. No, there isn't. First of all, all that, that got stolen years ago. There is one <laughs> really nifty thing. Jason Voorhees collects whistles. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, he like, just... he's in fucking Vietnam. He's collecting these <laughs> counselor whistles. 25 dude. whistles, and they're all pristine on this fucking rusty hook. I have to say, it's a pretty cool detail. Yeah. yeah. He's keeping trophies. Not too shabby. Um, And so this is all kind of happening at once. And, like, so Ginsburg goes back. His girlfriend is stuffed in a sleeping bag yep. over a campfire. Yeah. This happens really quickly. We do get, which I don't think is necessary, inside the te- inside the sleeping bag cam. Here's, here's my philosophy on sleeping bag cam. Mm. If you can do it, let's get it done. <laughs> what do you mean? Do it. I don't think if you can figure out that shot, <laughs> I'll watch that. Also, it's not like you're watching like a fucking turkey in the oven on a fucking, <laughs> you know, time-lapse camera. No, it's I just know. like two or three shots. It's also a little weird that, like, she, so it's like toasting her at the bottom. Yes. Like, you never see it. The flames don't overtake the sleeping bag. She's just kind of getting roasted a little bit, and then she just falls out. I'm pretty sure sleeping bags are, like, highly flammable. Yeah. 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 Also, it wouldn't take (laughs) this long. She fucking watched Mandy? Of course it is. And she falls out, and she's, like, boiling and dead, and it's just like, really? She looks like a steamed ham. (laughs) And, like, she falls like into the fire, off the fire. She's not in the fire. I'm sorry. Put that crispy critter in the fire. Yeah, totally. Get a we, good cook on it. Maybe Jason takes a bite. You got to finish some it. season 10 cooking. You got to finish <laughs> it in the oven. You know, you, you right. keep it in the first. Yep. Yep. Damn, uh, damn, Jason's running out of time. <laughs> you should finish it in the oven, Jason. <laughs> Is this skin crispy? It doesn't look crispy to me. Ooh, damn, her hair still on. I'm not going to eat something with the hair still on, Jason. <laughs> Jason, what kind of cannibal are you? You should have shaved her like a pig. <laughs> oh, you left the teeth in. Damn. I'm worried Damn. about I'm worried about Jason, guys. He's running back to the pantry. <laughs> uh, Jason, I'm sorry, but the ingredients in your mystery box were camp, camper and sleeping bag. Not camper, sleeping bag, and jeans. Jason, come on. Jason, come on. I just thought that, you know, the denim might accentuate the... Oh, you're right. The denim is... It, it is really just... It's 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 overtaking the bag flavor I was hoping for. <laughs> it's a saffron, really. Uh, so, like, uh, Ginsburg fucking gets a machete right through the old head here. Yes. Not, a nice little gore effect. Because no, Did we mention J- he's in a bear trap at this point? Oh, no, oh, right. No, actually, Ginsburg gets hit with a bear trap. Then Jason goes and to the other the side girl. of town and gets kills the... We're doing, like, the floor is lava kind of thing. So we're walking around this house, <laughs> and Jason, like, is under the floorboards, like, ripping up at oh, people. Right. Oh, because these dumb motherfuckers are still in the house. I forgot. And he's stabbing a knife through yes. the floorboards. And the guy's yeah. like, get off the floor. The floor is lava. Out, 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 out. <laughs> yeah, and he, he grabs that dude and brings him under. Yeah, which is kind of fun. That is, that is not bad. And then Whitney comes back, finds Ginberg still alive, tries to get him out of the bear oh, trap. Oh, yeah, you're and right. And then he gets the fucking thing right to the head. Right, right. Right, right, and we're right. doing a little bit of we're doing gore, but we're also doing CGI gore. This is CGI gore for sure. It's There's not a ton of CGI yes. gore though, but yes, this is one of those moments. Also, I will say this is where like pretty much like part two's kind of melding in here. Yes, because he's got a bag over the head, yes. and we do get Mrs. Voorhees' head in like a shrine in the wall. Yeah, yeah this is fucking tub. hilarious. It's like a hole in the wall, and this fucking you know United States of Benetton ad or whatever United <laughs> Colors of Benetton is like. Uh, oh, I see some hair fall. What's this hair? Ba- hey, babe, I'm going to pull his hair out of this wall hole. And it's the head. And then he's like, ah, and drops it in the fucking bath. It's just like this, <sighs> this disgusting, like, gray water. And this room is full of candles because it's like a shrine to his mother. So you it's also sh- where I like to relax. <laughs> you smoke smoke a little in the bathtub. That ain't yeah, bad. Oh, got yeah, some dude. Sade. But I just, I'm sorry. I cannot. 
I cannot abide the idea of Jason Voorhees lighting a candle. <laughs> no, yeah, I that's really a really can't. good point. Oh, the wind's picking up. Oh, I'm running out of matches. Also, if you're in a flop house and you mm-hmm. see a hole in the wall and there's sure. hair in there, just a lump of hair, yeah. you're going to reach it and grab it? You're lucky if it's a human head. That could be a possum biting exactly. you. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> best case scenario, it's just a clump of hair covered in <laughs> jizz. <laughs> the famous long-haired possums. <laughs> you never know. I call the big one bitey. <laughs> uh, so the, uh, he's about to get Whitney, and then we get... Friday the 13th. And I'm like, dude, what? It's been fucking an hour. But it's a weird, yeah, it's like he grabs her. Yes. And we should y- say, you they, don't see what happens. They find a locket when they're roaming around this house. Sure. And yeah. in the locket, it's a picture of Jason's mother. And she's like, uh, and the boyfriend's like, huh, this looks like you. You should keep it. This looks like you. You should keep it. <laughs> Remember this. Remember, it's going to come back even after I'm dead. Okay, Remember, so- you look like this person in the locket. <laughs> it's important to the plot. So the plot of this movie is Jason sees a woman that looks like his mother looked like. Yeah. Uh, so he kidnaps her and stashes her in a tunnel. Yep. To what end? I don't know that Jason has an end game for anything that he does. He shouldn't, but <laughs> kidnapping people, I just that's the, thing. not the J- I mean, also, yeah. is he? Fe- we see her later. Is he feeding her? Like he has to. It's been a, it's been six weeks. We're told. Six months. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's six yeah. months. That's even, crazy. Even more of a need for a meal. She's eating a lot of denim. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he? And so, okay, Nispel, you fucked up because here's a great opportunity to be like. How did this woman survive for six months? Because he fucking made her eat her friends. Oh, that's oh. kind of... He's just, like, cooking up some fucking, uh, you know, weed guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any of these people's right. name. Ginsburg, a little Ginsburg saute. Look, I'm sorry. You might find some skull pieces in this, but uh, <laughs> I tried as best as I could. I was never good at cracking eggs. Sweet. Ooh, damn, damn. <laughs> Speaking of Mad Men, I'm pretty sure Don Draper was involved in the rebrand of Crystal Lake to oh, Forest Green. Yes, dude. He was definitely a part of that. <laughs> He's like going into all those like hippie people that owned the, the campsite before. It's like, you know, you could really do with renaming your hometown. Just picture this. You're on a lake. It's quiet. You're alone with your thoughts. But are you alone? You'll never know for sure. Shh, shh, shh. That bird's watching you, but that's okay. He doesn't have much to say. <laughs> you look up at the sign. Where are you? That's right. You're relaxing in your home. Forest Green. And then everyone gives a wild round of applause <laughs> and gives Don Draper a million dollars. It's like, that's right. I also rebranded Haddonfield. And <laughs> yeah. Spring, where, where's Freddie from? Spring? S- Springwood. Springwood, Springwood Illinois. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Ogdenville. Oh, right. oh, and dude, he re- rebranded North Haverbrook. He fucking put them on the map. Don't worry about it. I also handled the uh, rebranding for Ruby Ridge. It's, uh, we call it Red Ridge now. Wow, brilliant. Here's a million dollars. Thank you for bringing up Ruby Ridge because that reminds me of this when the very. First st- of all, by the way, only on We Hate Movies will you hear the phrase, thank you for bringing up Ruby Ridge. Hey, oh, I brought I'm- it up like last week or so. People- also, I'm sure Voorhees has a lot of thoughts on it as a survivalist i think we brought it up once like a yeah. thousand years ago and i remember someone being upset about it what uh-huh. ruby ridge yeah it's an historical event yeah anyway yeah because some people think they're freedom fighters that died there anyway <laughs> sure <laughs> sure oh, you know so freedom fighters and not domestic terrorists got it folks everyone's guilty especially the atf sure definitely but the <laughs> opening logos of the movie i wanted to mention and i forgot oh like yeah red like platinum dunes but it's red oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. this is a rare paramount doing that they yeah. almost yeah. never do that yeah, it's paramount and new line and platinum dunes all uh in a three-way fucking title dance man it's it's all three of them and then it's like we get the courier new opening it's like paramount blah, blah. and then it says in association with michael bay <laughs> Wow, which an association, is, which doesn't make sense because he's doubling up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's he's I, double yeah. dipping. He's double I, dipping. He's double dipping. Yeah, and it was a weird thing where, like, when the first movie came out, it was a Paramount movie, yeah. and then after Part Eight, Paramount lost the rights, and so New Line Paramount lost interest. Let's all call <laughs> well, it. Right sure. Uh, so they sold the rights to New Line, which is Warner yeah. Brothers, and that they couldn't use. 
like the the title, right? That's why it was Jason. Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why it's Jason X and then oh, Freddy wow. versus Jason. All of those are Warner Brothers movies. That's interesting. I never yeah. Um, um, so this was like the fr- they like came back for this, and one of them I don't remember which was which, but one of them handled uh, U.S. distribution, and the other one handled uh, overseas. Did anyone? So speaking of Michael Bay, so we meet the next crop. We, you know, it's like now six months later, however long right. long, long it is, we're seeing our, a new crop of fresh faced dead meats. It's a new gang of teens that are somehow dumber than that last group. They Jesus are actually Christ. less interesting yeah. than the first group for sure. Like at least that first group, like they're more racially of, ra- they're more racially diverse, which I appreciate. But that's about it. That's about it. But there's like there's nothing. It's just the standard old like we're going up to fucking Rocco's house or whatever with this fucking. And dude you know, team. I usually like have been defending thirty year olds playing teenagers in it, movies. But, yeah, like these. This is too. I don't know. It just felt like too much. I know it's a bit much. I know they're they're actually college students. I yeah, think. they're they're college students. But yeah. like, it's still. Did anyone know Too much. anyone read the trivia about uh so the the lead not the lead kid but the kid whose house they're going and the kind of driving this big home Travis lead. Van Winkle is the actor oh, I believe mean, playing Trent right who ha- who drives an Escalade I'm glad that there's an Escalade in Friday the 13th <laughs> I don't know. but just, uh. his name is Trent this actor was also in the Transformers number 1 oh shit playing a character named trent oh Whoa. my god and there are theories and michael combined universe that is that's a shared universe no way that this is the same trent <laughs> the platinum uh, dunes universe <laughs> the it's universe michael bay, dude michael bay michael bay sandwich wiki <laughs> jason Voorhees has hot wired me because he's a survivalist <laughs> i mean i actually if you lived in a transformers world like you know you've lived through all the the battle of new york or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. goes on in those movies mm-hmm. you if a big fucker like a 10 foot tall dude with a machete came out like, well that's pretty normal i wouldn't be yeah. i wouldn't well, that's, what that's, would shock you it's cars quaint. Can, yes it's exactly quaint. <laughs> it is quaint at, at least it's point. not a decepticon <laughs> Totally. It's like, oh, Jason Voorhees. Well, remember like two years ago when all religion vanished off the face of the earth <laughs> yeah. because there's space robots that look like cars? Oh, wait. Oh, is that Jason Voorhees? Yeah. Uh, okay. Because a fucking jet, a, a fucking <laughs> fighter jet flew down, turned into like a guy and murdered my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really care. Yeah, you right. Oh, my God. He was killed by... Oh my god, 10 kids were killed by one guy with a machete. Oh yeah, a fucking school bus turned into a person and destroyed his school. So, <laughs> oh my and god. all the kids were still inside him when that <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh, oh god. This is actually kind of grim to bring up, but like <laughs> oh, please do, <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Nowadays, with all the mass shootings and everything, uh-huh. kind of Jason is kind of quaint. Like, oh, he's got a knife. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wh- whoopee whoa. Oh, he killed 12 kids. Wow, that's pretty terrible. You know what Jason Voorhees never did? Got radicalized on 8chan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> 10 campers, huh? <laughs> that's not even... It's not even get a fucking hashtag, man. We're over it. We are over it. It's not like pray for fucking Crystal Lake. That's not going to happen. Oh, gonna, no, absolutely not. You're going to ban knives now. <laughs> oh, good point, Eric. Because mm-hmm. you're fucking stupid. Not you, but <laughs> anyone who says that. Fucking... You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, no, so it's these kids. They're coming up. And here's the thing. A, that, your classic stop at a gas station. Stop so. at a gas station, which brings me to a thing that annoyed me greatly. Arguing over who's going to pump the gas. You know what takes what two this? seconds? Pumping gas. Yes. What is this? Not to be a jerk, but if this was New Jersey, yep. they oh, wouldn't be pumping yep. any gas. You're, so You're right. Fucking right. You're totally right, dude. They and have they'd to have also, that fucking hillbilly come out of the gas station and fucking pump it for them. And they'd have to go through six loops before they make a right turn. <laughs> See, now, people who don't know New Jersey might not know, they they moved to that law because everyone was huffing the gas. <laughs> you know Jersey, come on. Everyone's huffing gas. Dude, you never huffed gas and put on a Springsteen record? I always wanted to. Do you remember there was that f- Philip Seymour Hoffman movie about huffing gas? Is that Love Liza? Yes, it is. Yeah, of oh, well, is that what he's doing in that movie? Yeah, and he's got like fucking like RV, not RV, remote control uh, airplanes. Does he? I forget yeah. that movie completely, other than yeah. that. I, I mix just that movie up I, with Owning Mahoney. Well, this in this one he he hangs around a lake a lot, and I think Jason Wait, is in, in Love Liza he's huffing gasoline, yes. in Oni Mahoney he's huffing gambling. Yes. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's a real degenerate gambler movie for sure. Jason Voorhees is gonna kill me. He, gonna, <laughs> I made this fucking this company. 
kind of a bad Charlie Wilson's war ish yeah, yeah, yeah. thing we're doing. Now. I'm glad you explained it because I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. that movie one time and I believe took a fucking delicious nap. That is me. a YouTube clip. Just oh, is it? Philip Seymour Hoffman, John Slattery in uh, Charlie Wilson's War. It's like him yelling at John Slattery. It's fantastic. Oh, that's you, I went to Greece. You don't think I have pictures of you fucking Jason Voorhees' wife? <laughs> I've got them. I got them, and I could tell the fucking commissary if I wanted to, but I'm bigger than that. Now, Chris, do you remember what his uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character's name was in Charlie it, Wilson's War? It's like War? Gus something. Frakalakis. Yeah, he's a Greek I was guy. asking Chris because uh, he dressed, dressed as him for Halloween yeah. once. <laughs> I was wondering if he was going to call him out of that. Oh. I'm proud of that. Uh, Took no time whatsoever. <laughs> so whatever. So it's all these kids. They go in the, in the gas station. We meet. Uh, yeah, it's Trent, uh, who's the the rich kid, who's like very clearly an asshole. The kid from Party Down is around, who's just kind of like a doofus, like a mimbo kind of. Yeah, character. Ryan Hansen, who I love. He's also oh, in Veronica, Veronica Mars. Mars. Yeah. Um. Then you've got uh, Aaron Yu, who's kind of like named Chewy, who's kind of a stoner idiot guy. What's annoying though is his name is Chewy, but. The fucking nerdlinger stealing the weed at the cold open. He was the one wearing the Star Wars T-shirt. Mm. That was not a half bad Star Wars T-shirt, FYI. <laughs> it looked pretty cool, but I'm saying you got a character named Chewie. You yeah. got to do something about that. You do got to do something. That's really shitty. Uh, uh, you got Danielle uh, Panabaker, who was on uh, me and Eric's uh, joint unemployed television oh, watching. Shit. Are you say, you going to say it? Say it. Smith? No, it's not Smith. Fuck! No, uh, fucking Shark with oh, James Woods. Oh, my God. Remember she was when, his daughter on that show. Remember she's when also you, on The Flash now. Yeah, she's Back on when the you Flash. could enjoy James Woods to a degree. <laughs> to a degree. And yeah, now it's impossible. Yeah, but impossible. back in, you know, 2006, yeah. it was still kind of okay. Oh, fuck it, dude. Just af- unemployed afternoons watching Ray Liotta and Smith. Oh, yeah, <laughs> And dude. fucking James Woods in Shark. <laughs> Eating fucking takeout Chinese at 1230 in the afternoon. It's amazing. Thing we live to tell the tale. I don't know if I can do the rest of this episode. I'm depressed right now. You yeah, no, that's it. what it was. Yeah. And you missed Brian Dennehy in Frog. <laughs> well, you know, Steve, you're just well, a fucking frog. You're depressed because you got FOMO. Oh, I guess <laughs> what, dude? You missed out. Well, I, I was living at home at the time, which was worse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, there's a couple other folks there. There was a couple, of, yeah, and there's this other kid named Lawrence, who's his character. Who his two lines are one is like he's like, "Why are you trying to make this?" He's like, "Hey man, pump the gas." He's like, why? Because I'm black. And then later in the movie, he's also like, "They're like, oh, what kind of music do you like?" He's like, "It has to be rap." Why? Because I'm black. Like that's his joke the entire movie, and it's bad. It's, he says something it's about 2009, and it's bad. They're freaking out because this cabin in the middle of nowhere doesn't have Wi-Fi, oh, and he's okay. like. I have to do all these business calls. I'm trying to start a record label. And uh, this girl's like, what, rap? Yeah. And that's what he oh, does. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, she apologizes and he's like, no, it's rap. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a, uh, that's it's a one that. note joke that you did ah! twice. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, did we mention that that dude Clay is handing, handing out missing posters? This is where he comes in. Yeah. Yeah. He comes in. He's got, he's got his, I mean, he's literally hanging out. I'm not missing a dog. I'm not missing my fucking keys. I'm missing my sister. Right. And this dude, Trent, is like, boring. <laughs> dude, Ex- you get a load of this fucking pussy looking for his sister? <laughs> exactly. It's so crazy. it's a missing person's, like, poster. And even the store owner is like, yeah, not hanging that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was up the, to me. He's the clerk, and he blames the owner. Yeah. But it's like, what are we even doing? It's a person that's it's a it's a girl that's missing. What are you talking about? Well, because I think it's a thing where they're like like all the townies mm-hmm. are like missing poster. Do you know where you are? That, that person is dead. Question mark because that's in the first half of the movie and it's not the rest of the movie. Because like he goes yeah. to that house, there's this creepy lady like, oh, you're in Christian Lake, <laughs> and she never comes back. Right. See that the movie needs a crazy Ralph type character. Exactly, well, she'll be like, you're all doomed. It's well, Jason. She kind of does that, and that she's like, just don't bother him. He kills a couple people once in a while. Yeah. But it's so stupid, Chris, because she doesn't come out and say like Jason, blah blah blah. And, like, I know that we as the audience know it because it's the up umpteenth fucking Friday the 13th movie. But, sure. like, 
I need that. Well, I need the cra- crazy yeah. Ralph to be like, you kids are doomed. Yes, well, exactly. I, uh, it's better because well, the cop is like, come on, it's been four days. She's <laughs> the, dead. This cop <laughs> is outrageous. This dude stinks. He's just all like, yeah, we got 10-year vets that were on that case. Do you know how many thousands of people go missing in this state alone? <laughs> uh, That's yeah. a lot of people to go missing. <laughs> Jersey! But also the best part is like this. He's like, why are you putting up missing posters? It's kind of like three billboards for a yeah. little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. So many murdered girls. Why do nothing, Crystal Lake Sheriff? <laughs> There'd be like a thousand billboards. It'd be like that. That would be the entirety of New Jersey. Yeah. Um, so then it was his mother at first, and then it was him, and uh, then he got a mask. Here's the uh, Crystal Lake billboard mile. There's uh, <laughs> fifty billboards. It's quite a lengthy message. Yeah, My t- son was just listening to his headphones. Why so, Sheriff Will- Willoughby? <laughs> Yeah, Tommy Jarvis. You're going to have to take down those billboards. <laughs> That's an insane thing was Tommy Jarvis was supposed to play a part in this movie, and then they cut it out. Come on, just Because why it. do anything to excite the fans, you fucking idiots? We need, like, a true protagonist in this movie because all these kids are just dead meat. That's what I was guess- interesting about the Tommy, Tommy Jarvis character right. because it gave some kind of, like, focal point to these I, fucking sequels. I guess they rewrote it to be it- Clay, the guy with the missing sister, because yes. he's, like, the most boys. actual, pr- like, person we're following throughout the end right. of the movie. Jared Padalecki of Supernatural fame. Supernatural, by the way, in its 29th season. Insane. Congratulations. Wow. Can I say this? It's quite an achievement for me personally. <laughs> uh-huh. I've never seen a fucking second. I haven't either. It's, either. it's really yeah. easy to avoid. I mean, like, like a there are people that tell you that it's good, but I'm like sure. I've also heard there's like fucking like Jesus shit in it. I don't need to be fucking dealing with God and the devil. Thank you very it's much. It's just one of those shows that like it has it, it has its following of whatever it is sure. and everybody, those people are rabid fans, which is fine. Just like let me tell movies. Ask, yes. <laughs> right. Let me ask you this few though. People. Uh and just you know, at me on Twitter about this. Yes or no? Werewolves? Oh, definitely. There's they, yeah. they you think so? All. Yeah, I'm sure we've done it. Twenty nine seasons, yeah. they probably <laughs> yeah, had sex with werewolves many times. Yeah. Now you'd have to ask which werewolf. Ah. Few few see. people know Supernatural started right before Saturday Night Live. John Belushi was gonna <laughs> do that. He wasn't sure. George Carlin was the first host. <laughs> Of Supernatural. Carlin was the first ghost that they were talking to. Uh, So then it's like, and musical (laughs) guest, the Wolfman. (laughs) Yeah, uh, and uh, Don Pardo announced both shows. Welcome to Supernatural. (laughs) (laughs) The Wolfman was just Andy Kaufman playing a record. (laughs) Starring Jared Padalecki <laughs> and the other one. Yeah, who is other guy, <laughs> by the way? It. When Jared Padalecki is like the more famous. Um, yeah. The other one's actually in the My Bloody Valentine remake, I believe. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, I have not seen that remake. Also starring <laughs> Jensen Ackles. Misha Collins. <laughs> People with no careers otherwise. Let me tell you this, though. I'm looking at this. These two motherfuckers, 327 episodes. I got to tell you, wow. I think this is fucking encroaching on Hank Azaria money. <laughs> the, um, the money these two must have. It's Forget insane. About it. And, you know, good for them, honestly. Laughing all the way to the bank. If they hit all it. the cons, too. Those oh. two will go to your con. Oh, they'll do your con. <laughs> uh... Uh, anyway, so yeah, he's looking around for his sister. Um, we're going around a little bit. The, these kids go off to their cabin. There's also a girl with a camera who just eventually turns into like sexy girl. Like they're trying to make her camera girl at first, but that doesn't take. It gives up because I was like, why are you filming, girl? Yeah. What are you making? Mm-hmm. We'll never know. <laughs> Part of it is a sex tape because yes, she fucks certain- Trent yeah. later. Mm-hmm. Trent is uh, supposed to be coupled with uh, uh, Daniel Panabaker. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but then later in the movie, he fucks his other broad and she's like fucking filming it and whatnot. Mm. And he has some line. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, I hope this doesn't wind up on the internet. Oh. Dude, that sex scene is literally pornography. Yeah. It lasts yeah. for so long. Not too shabby, <laughs> I have to say. I guess, though, there was a thing, and I don't know if there's any truth to this, and it seems very out of character for him to do so. Unsimulated? <laughs> <laughs> My God, I was about to take a sip of a beer, but thank oh, God. Oh, it would have been a fucking right disaster. Under right under the wire. No, uh... <laughs> Apparently, at the premiere of this movie, mm. which I find this hard to believe because you that know he saw it before this? the <laughs> well, a red carpet, right? 
No, but like I, you have to believe that he saw this before the fucking Hollywood premiere. Michael Bay supposedly walked out of the premiere oh, right. because there was wow. too much sex in this movie. What fucking planet oh, are you on, IMDb writer? I, I totally believe that because he has to jerk off somewhere that's not the theater. Oh, he goes right. into the oh, bathroom, that's, that's he pounds why. one out. Oh, he wasn't disgusted. He was no. horny. He goes yeah. out to a TGI Friday's bathroom. He jerks off. He's mm-hmm. Mallard Sorella sticks. <laughs> goes back for the ending. Sounds well, like a great day. <laughs> well, no, he actually see, they show nudity. Like, You're not allowed to show. It. You're not allowed to show it. You're not allowed to show it. And he like runs out. <laughs> he goes to mother his... says no. Mother says no. You're allowed to film it, but mother, you're not allowed to show it. Oh he, my god. He goes back home Mikey to his tunnels. To <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dress up as Michael Bay's mother to stop <laughs> his reign of terror. <laughs> Uh, uh, so whatever. Um, they're partying and they're whatnot. partying. But by the way, uh, Danielle Panabaker is like very sympathetic too. She's like, "Hey, he's missing his sister. That's messed up." Yeah, guys. she's a human being. Yes. What a fucking shock! And he's and uh, Padalecki's on this motor scooter. He meets up with the cop. He co- goes to the crazy old lady's house. He meets up with this fucking uh, South Jersey hillbilly, and those people exist. Absolutely. Don't you worry about Let's it. Let's talk about this hillbilly because this guy. You know, Jason Voorhees, be damned, this dude is the most terrifying character in the film. Yes. So there's this, like, wood chipper situation, and this fucking hee-haw motherfucker's putting all this wood through it. You will see Confederate flags if you go a little bit near Philadelphia, but a little bit south, you will see Confederate Southwest flags. Jersey, dude, it might as well be Arkansas. <laughs> is Monsieur Hee-haw, is he also uh, the white rapper who dates Sweet D? Yes, he is, exactly him. Okay. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> That is yes, a great episode. Is. Yes, Holy yes, yes. shit. I was like, oh, where I've seen these eyes before. Great sweet D appearance, by the way. I've been going back through Curb. Oh, yeah. And she plays Cheryl's sister. Oh, she's great in those. She hates his guts. Dude, I just watched the episode where uh, he fucks up the baptism. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And she's fucking tearing into Larry David. It's so goddamn funny. Kaylin Olsen's great. Um uh yeah no so so this dude you know he's like you know shredding wood and everything and so Jared Padalecki comes up trying to hand out these posters and everything and you know this guy's like oh I haven't seen her or whatever and he's like hey man you want to buy some weed well and first he, he swings at him and accuses him of stealing his kerosene oh right <laughs> which oh, it turns out to be Jason yes, stealing Jason, kerosene it definitely is because he's like someone's right. been wandering these woods stealing Farmer Brown's kerosene Just Jason. Yeah. Being a you know using supplies exactly yeah. like knowing yeah what kerosene is maybe he's drinking it dude <laughs> oh, well, how else am I supposed to watch my Alex Jones <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I keep the, 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 he's got a fucking generator <laughs> hooked up to a shitty laptop which he has always on Infowars <laughs> catch him in bed with a freak uh, Paul Joseph Watts is updating a new show tonight <laughs> I need the kerosene uh, but so like. <laughs> he's you know the guy's like yeah uh no i'm not stealing your kerosene i guess if you haven't seen my sister i'm gonna go and the guy's like you want to buy some weed yeah. and he politely declines that as well and we might as well just get this out of the yes, way please. now when we cut back to this guy he's like done like shredding uh wood for a little bit and he's in this like workshop and he like thinks he hears something he's freaking out he pulls the sheet down and there's this nude lady mannequin first there. of all one of two times someone in this movie smokes weed and then starts looking at pornography to jerk off. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which magazine pornography? Call that analog. Yeah, analog <laughs> porn, dude. That definitely happens right here. Well, He's, see, that's the thing is like, set it in the 80s, do your analog yes. porn. If we're really going for like, we're in 2009 now. He's got to have I'm a computer sorry. open, yeah, yeah, or something. Uh, and but this dude, unlike the other dude who's jerking off later in the movie, this motherfucker licks the magazine page. Yes, he's like good he's gravy. Girl. And then he goes upstairs. Yet to your point, he he pulls this sheet uh, down, and there's this fucking mannequin, and he's just like, he's like, oh, you know what? He's got a name for it yeah. or whatever. He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're so tight. Oh, yeah, I haven't had you in so long. I'm gonna bust you down, mannequin. I'm gonna pound you so hard. Yes. What is he? Do? I mean, look. He says you're so tight. I've what had is there you to pound? What is? I mean, is he making his own hole here? He yeah, that's a DIY that's, yeah, yeah. situation. Okay, you're doing a little it's something. A, a carving project. I, I don't man. Like, well, you gotta like construct walls. To yeah. Be oh yeah. You've got yeah. I mean, that's the the mannequin. Thing. No, right? no, no. It's just you cut out like part of like the mannequin's pelvic region, and then you hollow out 
the middle of a, a, a like a grocery store bologna package. Got of it. Course. So then all you have to do is just turn out that bologna every few days. It's still there rotting. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't replace it. Yeah. See, say what you will about podcasts. This is the only podcast that will talk about a mannequin's vaginal walls. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I will also say this is what would have happened to Jason Biggs's character in American Pie yes. had he not yes. met up with Shannon Elizabeth and or Abby. Allison Hannigan rather. Absolutely, dude. That pie fucker would have been out in the woods <laughs> fucking baloney and mannequins <laughs> pelvises. Uh, so Jason kills this guy <laughs> while he whilst he's killing him. Jason's face is revealed. We're only forty minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. That's a party foul. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're not allowed. No, it's last ten minutes yes. or bust. Yes. I just I remember yesterday watching it. And I went the fucking face. Yeah, you see the whole thing, man. It's- I was reading Wikipedia and they were like, you know, in uh, part three, you don't see how Jason even gets the hockey mask i'm like what the f- did you not watch the movie producer yeah. of this movie <laughs> oh what the producer said yeah, this? what like a fucking you, idiot you fucking see, he kills that dude at the job shelly shelly yeah i should not remember things and like that he takes the mask from him he, but here he just finds it on the floor and they're like what, what a great origin thanks for fleshing it out like what are we doing like he's like well, what's that there because he 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 yeah. goes to pick up the fucking potato sack yes and he's like oh what's this under this mannequin <laughs> cover and it's just this hockey and i'm like why does this oh, guy it's oh. already beaten up too oh. like the- let me finish eating this bologna first <laughs> oh, oh, no. this bologna's a little salty someone but... put a lot of mayonnaise on this bologna oh. it must have gone bad because it's so salty it just oh, melts in my mouth man <laughs> jason pack your knives and go <laughs> But Jason, you have a- bologna, a mannequin, and cum. <laughs> Let's see what you can make. Oh, God. I made bologna, ma- mannequin, and cum. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's deconstructed. <laughs> Also, when he fucking puts that hockey mask on, dumbest thing of the movie, I feel, he fucking gets a glimpse of himself in the mirror. Are yeah. you kidding me? Well, the funny thing is, he he must be like, oh, man, you know, I've been saying for years that potato sack, while good at hiding my identity, it's just really sweaty in there. Now I can really run. All right, yeah. <laughs> turns, <laughs> he turns to the mirror. Hello, <laughs> is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Uh, and yes, also, by the way, Jason, just get a haircut. He's got this like ratty Hulk Hogan shit going on in the back. That, I think it's a skullet. Yeah, it's kind of a skullet. The machete is so sharp. Just cut it yourself. Yeah, get it. You know, just it's 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 a it's a, it's a, 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 a it's for performance. You know what I mean? Like yep. swimmers, they cut their hair. Yeah. You're a murderer. You're a fast murderer. Cut that hair. Or don't kill Hee Haw and have an I'm Too Sexy montage where we get <laughs> yes. a good... Because we got the wardrobe change, we yeah. got the mirror. All we needed was the fucking right said Fred song. And yeah, it's the hee haw guy like saying no, no until he puts the mask <laughs> on. And he's like, yes, thumbs up. And then Jason decapitates him. <laughs> yes. Thanks for your assistance. He's putting like fake vampire teeth. Yes, <laughs> on a devil mask. <laughs> he's trying to put like bolts on his neck. Like, this doesn't work. <laughs> no, no. Uh, then we cut to a woman water skiing topless to the hives. Yeah. Well, there's so much. I was surprised. Well, there's a lot of sub jet in this movie, yeah. and then they went to the hives, which is above jet, I yeah. will say. But yes, it's, but the sub jet, man, that's it's tough. Yeah, is there sub jet? <laughs> that's a good question. That's, Le- seems less, like the bottom of the barrel. To you me. know who's sub jet? The darkness. The darkness is sub jet. I disagree with that completely. Get but, your hands off of my woman, motherfucker. Are you going to be my girl? <laughs> bow, 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 oh, music is terrible. Isn't yeah, it? Music <laughs> in, the, in the mid to late aughts. early aughts. Woof. It was a tough time. We it all, you know what? Time. Look, we all liked the right, white stripes and we were all right about that. Yeah. But that was it. But That's all the it. knockoffs <laughs> around yeah. the white stripes universe. But the vines. Oh, the vines. <laughs> Man, the vines. I listened to that first record more than it was appropriate. Now, the hives were okay. I, I, I had wait, a hives, like hives or vines? Who was on the Spider Man soundtrack? One oh, of them. Uh, oh, I couldn't both tell. Both of you. them might have been. Yeah, yeah, the answer is all <laughs> I honestly of the above. cannot distinguish those two bands. They, yeah, yeah, well, no. the hives were like a little harder than the vines, and yeah. I believe the hives were also like Sweet- Swedish or yes. German or something. Yeah, yeah. Swedish, I think. Um, so, by the way, Trent tells this guy not. Not to take his boat out. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, uh, he does anyway. So absolutely. he deserves death. And it, this is cutting. It's all cutting back and forth between like 
what this whole group is doing because yeah. some of them are inside playing beer pong. They they enact the shoot the boot rule, which I cannot. Is that abide a real thing? By. I can't handle. That's that. a real thing. That's yeah, if you stupid. lose ten in a row, you got to yeah. shoot the boot. And I'd rather just throw up on your fucking rug and save and why everybody. Why would the time. I even want to pour beer into my shoe? To exactly. Make That's the thing. It's it. Chewy's sneaker. Yeah. So your sneaker's now soggy all night. It's just disgusting, and it's just gonna smell forever. Um. By the way, at this point. While this is all, they're all like having a fun drinking party, and then Clay comes up. He's like, "Hey, uh, by the way, my sister's missing again, uh, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Uh, just a reminder, she still might be dead. I hope this beer pong's fun." And this guy's like, "Get out of here, you fucking loser!" And Dude, the pussy's gonna go cry about his fucking dead sister. It's yeah, been, I said it. She's dead. It's been five days. <laughs> Why are you so worried about this, God? Uh, and so we we cut this back. Guy gets Amber alerts. Like, <laughs> Whatever. That's actually what I That's do. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why is my phone making noise? Oh, come on. That happened to me once when I was like at work or something back in the day. And I was like, oh, fuck this. How do I turn these off? <laughs> what? You and I turned you them cannot. off. Okay. What I are did. you going to do? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Have you ever seen that silver oh. Camry? <laughs> yeah. Am I going to tackle it? What am I, Optimus Prime? <laughs> There's no way I'm cat. What? Are, I'm just a man. What I'm can I do? I'm saying that there are other people in this world that may be in a position to do something. Wait. I'm just a man driving a car, trying to get to work. Let's oh, see. shit, an amber alert. <laughs> <laughs> Autobots, get into action. Okay, serious question, Steve. You're in New York City. Uh-huh. You get an amber alert. It, uh-huh. sa- it says, like, uh-huh. oh, the kid looks like that. Uh-huh. And uh, good luck. And a silver Camry. It's always well, a silver Camry. Or like, are you just gonna like grab kids in the street? <laughs> like, what is your Amber Alert hero I just, story? I, I don't have an Amber. <laughs> all right, look, I do not have an Amber Alert in quotation marks hero story. But I think it's important to get that information out there. Yeah, yes, I'm advocating sure. for Amber Alert. You're acting like you're inconvenienced yes, by this information. Um, Here's the I, thing. Glanced Here's the at thing. my phone when I didn't want to. <laughs> if, if. They just knocked it off with the noise. Uh-huh. That's really what it is. Because okay. you're in like, if yeah. you're in like an office setting, yeah. everyone's fucking Dude, phone is going off. All I'm saying is save it for the flash flood alert. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm actually concerned about. No, the flash flood you can fucking keep. What's going to rain? Congratulations. Yeah, I don't live well, in a fucking dock. I'm not too worried well, about it. I That's get... what you're worried about. <laughs> Water I w- damage. I want to know if I should take an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Listen, also, I've never found the missing adult. I know, yes. <laughs> well, he's 86 and confused. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm at work. I'm not going to drop everything and look for your fucking grandfather. Lock your door. <laughs> you just put a hat on and be like, someone is missing. <laughs> we are going out. We're, we're going to find him today. It's just a way to get information out in case someone might be in a position. Which is to fine, help. but why does it have to make the loudest noise in the world sound like I'm at a fucking air show? It's an amber alert. Because listen, now that that infrastructure's set up, got it. Pretty soon, Trump's going to be tweeting from it. Oh, no, no, totally. he, I, he tried to. That thing happened. Oh, did it? That, yeah, yes. Like, his first year in the term, he did some sort of an alert about something yeah. using that exact oh, channel. I think you're right. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't like. Crazy Crazy, but it wasn't good either. No, of uh, course it was, it was yeah, a fucking horrible idea. It was uh, like beep, beep, beep. I had Burger King today. <laughs> Amber Alert. Has anyone seen Baron? This house is too big. <laughs> <laughs> has anybody seen Melania's son? Yes. Is Melania's son around? <laughs> oh, that brain dead cretin. Uh so Ryan Hansen is driving this boat. Yes. This the video camera girl. Oh no, it's a different woman. It's a different girl, yeah. Uh, who I think this woman is a singer turned actress. Sure. I, I believe the internet told me I'd never Aren't heard. They of her. all. <laughs> no, I just want to look up who it is because I think she has like a a bit of a a following. I think is the idea. Oh. Uh, let me just look here really quickly for that name. If While I can. While you're find looking at that, yeah, let go me for say it. that. This dude gets an arrow through the head, and yes. we do not see Jason standing there with a longbow. Like, how? What is this? You, did you, no, do no, you there, see there it? is a shot of him yeah. with. Maybe it's the extreme cut. You see him with a bow and arrow, he, like he's, he's fucking Jeremy Renner all of a sudden. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? He's Hawkeye, and they totally have a shot of it. Well, I must have been looking at the fucking Amber Alert. <laughs> <laughs> how many are you getting a day? 
<laughs> well, he signed up for the deluxe part. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, uh, yeah, so, no, this so, is... but, but I just think it's fucking ridiculous it's to have that he's Jason able to do... yeah. shooting an arrow. Uh, look, I had, an, I had to get a sports requirement at community college. <laughs> they were offering archery. It was either that or learning to do the trapeze, and I would have fucking died Come. there. Hey, look, you know what? I've been terrible for five movies, but guess what? I'm on Disney Plus now. <laughs> It's totally, you, you won't be able to believe my Disney Plus show that's coming out. No, I know no one likes me. It's fine. It's me, Jason Voorhees. Hey, don't me. worry. I'm going to be uh, training another woman to take my place immediately in the second season. <laughs> it's going to be me and Bear Grylls <laughs> learning how to survive in the woods. Uh, this is Willa Ford who is doing the water skiing. Gotcha. And so uh, she falls off the yes. wakeboard. Uh, and so Ryan Hansen is turning the boat around to come pick her up. Jason nabs him in the head. This dude is dead immediately. And the boat, like, keeps going mm-hmm. in her direction. She can't get out of the way. It hits her. Very gruesome. Yeah. Uh, and she's, like, kind of, like, I guess I read the original script called for her, like, because she, she sees Jason on the yeah. bank of the, the lake. And she was supposed to just stay in the water because she's scared of him and then get tired and drown. Yeah. But then what happens is, like, she swims under a dock. Yes. Uh, and it's the dumbest fucking... Like, this machete is cutting through wood like it's butter. I don't buy it. And it picks her up. So you get one last tit shot because you've seen, like, three already. And it's a tit shot that plays for a joke because it's like he stabs her right in the top of the head. Yes. And picks her up. And she hits her head on the underside of the dock. Yes. And you get a little Tomb Raider jiggle. Yes. And, like, that's the joke. And she's just dead that's great sure that's- you know what's actually kind of cool though is like someone trying to wait out jason yes. and it's like fucking open water and she just drowns like that's that would, a good thing like, oh it's going too long like, i don't know that'd be kind of interesting yeah. for like three seconds make a scene anyway so not dead tits <laughs> we need more dead tits in this uh, i'm sorry sir not enough dead tits Listen, I've got to. If I have to listen to the fucking hives, I'm gonna see some titties through it. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I'll she's tell dead. you about click, 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 boom. <laughs> this is a classic character of Martin Sidney. <laughs> yeah, yeah, third. Course, for we're new all, listeners, yeah, we're all that's talking. not just actually Steve's lust. No, it's, it's a <laughs> character's <laughs> lust. Oh, you, you'll never hear my lust on this show. While this is all going on, <laughs> it's a secret lust. A secret lust. I think I got an Amber alert about that. <laughs> 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 uh, Daniel Panabaker and Jared Padalecki have gone off on a walk because fucking asshole Trent yeah. was an asshole again and she's like let's just get out of here and go for a walk like, and they wander s- well there's two things well, Trent's like your sister's missing that sucks and the other and you she's fucking like, loser she's like, wow your sister's missing that's kind of hot I don't know that's kind of sexy it's so little. hot I like this guy his like sister is missing she might be dead I don't <laughs> yeah, know it's kind of hot he's tall as fuck I mean, <laughs> speaking of sucks <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think his sister missing makes him like kind of vulnerable. <laughs> He's in like a hard place right now <laughs> in his life, Ooh. and I feel like I could be there for it's it. It's like I'm in like an SVU episode. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, I don't know. He's awfully broken though. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm, ooh, I hope she doesn't sh- turn up alive. That would kind of ruin it for me. <laughs> uh, and on their little romantic walk, they just walk into the Crystal Lake campgrounds. Oops. And they're just investigating, snooping around. Which, is, which kind of sucks because we've already seen it. We, yeah. The first group of kids did this. Totally. And we're just doing it again. I'm like, how long have I been watching well, this movie? Now we get to see Jason turn on like these giant outdoor lights. He Dude, has. he knows to use like the big switch I, I, to power the campground. Just make him a libertarian like he was just a dude that was weird like, <laughs> like he's gotta are. have instead of a hockey mask it's a fucking bandana of the american flag he's yep. wearing a fucking cut off t-shirt that says if you can read this the bitch fell off <laughs> could be wearing an, an, uh, a guy fox mask possibly maybe you watched v for vendetta wrong <laughs> a lot of people did that yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it's like they reuse the same, like, oh, the majesty of seeing the it says Camp Crystal Lake, yeah. and, like the little walkthrough thing, like Jurassic Park or some <laughs> shit, you know. Welcome to Crystal Lake. 
But this it's in a, this amber we have <laughs> a droplet of Jason's blood. <laughs> We're gonna clone him. How about Monster Park, dude? Monster Park would be they fun. They get sure. you know some DNA off of the boiler where Freddy was cooked. <laughs> oh yeah, and they just make all the monsters in cages. I would love to see Sam Neil like like raise out of a fucking jeep because Jason is walking by. <laughs> and turn Lord Kurt's head to see it. Look at the it's so majestic. A little Freddy Krueger's breaking out of its shell and then like <laughs> little like it. knife finger first. <laughs> BD Wong is like, come on, come on. A pinhead coming out of a leather egg. <laughs> Say that again. We have a pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> like cabin in the woods oh pumpkin head pumpkin head doesn't want to be fed he wants to hunt (laughs) dennis nedry dennis nedry gets cornered by the critters (laughs) yes oh Oh, yes they they lower a a, a girl into the pit like the goat (laughs) (laughs) a bunch of leather faces come out and chop her up oh i could see i like it i like this a lot actually sure uh so this is a weird like we see uh Daniel Panabaker like trips over a a rope that r- like rings a bell like so Jason's got this whole fucking campground wired like yeah. this is some real Ted Kaczynski shit no thank you it's just not my hashtag not my Jason exactly. no. and so what this reveals like we follow the rope with the bell and yeah. whatnot and there's this huge tracking shot and we find that the sister is still alive yes. chained in this mine and I just wrote in my notes right here, the mines. Ugh. <laughs> and, you know, so whatever. Um, this is a bit of Jason's home life, though, and his yeah. homework, because he's not out hunting right now. He's home. And what is he doing? He's sitting at the fucking stone wheel sharpening the machete. That's stupid. It's I, so I, dumb. I, I know that the knife is sharp. I know it will kill. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I don't need to see well, how sharp it is. But you saw in the background the Don't Tread on Me uh, poster, right? <laughs> A flag, sorry. <laughs> uh, but while all this is happening, like, there's been a whole thing where Jason has taken Jared Padalecki's bag. Like, he finds yeah. it on the ground. They're hiding from him yeah. under a rack of canoes. Oh, yes, the canoe tossing. <laughs> yeah, and he starts tossing these things with one hand, just <laughs> hawking them. Uh, and so, the you know, Whitney is very scared. You don't Again, you don't see her eat. You don't see her. There should be a bucket there. She's chained up against a wall. Like I need to see the bucket. What's the bucket like? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't need to see what's happening in the bucket, but I need to know the bucket's there. Maybe she's just like sitting in her own piss Filth, and shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, that would be like you. Yeah. When when they find her, like, oh, oh God, Bruh. Whitney. Yeah. Bruh. And suddenly, suddenly he's like, let's leave her. <laughs> that's not my, whatever that is. Is not my sister anymore. <laughs> not like this. Not like this. Uh, but we cut. We also cut back to the fucking uh, the cabin yeah. where there's a sexy dance going on. Oh sure. What was his name? Aaron Yu. Aaron Yu. Yes. He's like talking about like, oh, I want to come back as an ass button on her jean shorts. Okay. Well, also the ass, ass button, button well, I guess on the, jean shorts. <laughs> well, the ass button is not even like touching the ass. The ass button is just touching the button. You know, like, the, uh, don't the, you want to be the denim? Yeah. Be the denim at least. Yeah. Or... She might be wearing underwear, buddy. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to be that. That's a big might, Chris Cabin. What if you're <laughs> a guy that is her boyfriend? I yeah, would like to come I'd back also... as a man that might have. Yeah, that button's with... not going to fuck her. And then now part of the plot of the movie is thrusted forward by someone <laughs> breaking Trent's daddy's chair Mm -hmm. and he's like this guy who's like oh no that's my dad's chair and he's like well i'm gonna go fix it so he goes down to the fucking whatever tool shed which Which is is a mile from the house down a scary path (laughs) and turns out jason's stealing shit from this place too i guess why Uh, else would he be there i don't even know what's happening and trent and this girl have sex this is when the other guy picks up in like Here's the thing, dude. Like, yeah, you came to this party alone. Everyone else in the house is having sex. You got to go in the bathroom. You just got to go in. This a- is an outrageous development mm-hmm. in this film. Because, I mean, he's not even shown to be like a nerd. He's like a cool dude. Like, you know, he's, he's, he's trying another- to start a record label. Exactly. He's like, he, and he's like, well, I guess I have to jerk off right now. In the middle of the living room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not even to pornography yeah. it's a fucking catalog it's a serious cat a serious cat <laughs> <laughs> but like he's like well i get like yeah you're right it's like everyone's getting late well i guess i better start jerking off chewy's I, out fixing the chair i can't be using my my memory to remember the girl <laughs> dancing on the table it's got to be a catalog <laughs> 
even if it has to be a catalog, the bathroom is oh. right there. Or you uh, presumably are sleeping in a bedroom somewhere in this house. Go there, close and lock the door. Exactly. No. I just cannot believe that this mm. dude's decision is to jerk off in the middle of the living room with all the lights on. All the lights. You've misread the character. He likes maybe getting caught. Oh, I see. Well, the, only, oh, the, only, yeah. the only part of this that gives him pause is that this stuff deer head might be watching. Oh, right. Which means he's a maniac. <laughs> yeah. That deer is dead. This long dead animal is going to judge me. <laughs> yeah, What'd not- you say, deer? <laughs> dead by dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Come by dawn. <laughs> uh... So also, Uh-oh. Whitney, clever deadites. <laughs> Whitney, by the way, uh, goes rifles through uh, her brother's bag, yeah. finds like an old broken GPS thing, pulls a wire out of it so she can uncuff herself. She does. Uh, um, get out he, of there. They, uh, Jared Padalecki and Daniel Pennebecker wind up back at the cabin. They're like, oh, my God, this guy, uh, we saw him. He cut off this dude's head or whatever the fuck they saw. They're all running around. There's and- also, am I remembering right, there's a weird thing where someone gets murdered because Trent... And camera girl are fucking loudly. Plus, there's loud music, and they can't hear. Oh, it's the sister. The sister gets to the house, gets caught again, and gets caught again by. Just, she's like about to ask for help, yep. and yes. they're fucking so loudly. Mm-hmm. And the silver chair or whatever is playing. <laughs> I wish it was silver chair, but there's a line of dialogue here from Trent that is amazing, where he compliments this woman for uh-huh. having perfect nipple placement. He says her tits are stupendous. Actually, he says stupendous. your tits are stupendous and perfect nipple placement. <laughs> Well, what does that mean? They weren't on her shoulder blades. <laughs> I guess so I'm just I'm just reveling in the dialogue of this great film. Oh no, it's classic dialogue, dude. She also makes fun of him though, like a little yeah. a little later on because he's he says something like this fucking is, and she's like stupendous, yeah. you idiot. And this is where we get um, Aaron being killed in the in the yeah. tool shed. There, yeah, he gets murdered in the tool shed. It's it. He's doing the thing where he's look. He's like. A lot of Aaron Yu improv. By the way, Aaron Yu's also in that Nightmare remake, weirdly enough. Oh, is he? For like five it's seconds. Super He's like bizarre. One of the dudes uh, when they're researching everything that's on a, a vid clip about uh, oh. Freddy or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. Weird. Yeah. 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 Weird. Yeah. Was that IMDb trivia? Uh, no, that's some Steve Sanak trivia. Oh, oh, nice, dude. That's the you, best kind of trivia. <laughs> don't you worry about Verify. it. Verify. <laughs> uh, he's been working on the Aaron Yu biography. <laughs> Aaron Yu, the first 90 days. <laughs> uh, yeah, he gets a fucking screwdriver in the throat. After doing a lot of, like, he's playing yes. hockey with no one. Yeah. Just look for shit. A lot of vamping. Shit. Yeah, like, I don't need the vamping. Just look for shit and then get murdered before you find it. Screwdriver's pretty good. It's a weird, like, this takes forever. Like, yeah. Jason's really ramming it in there. And um, so then now, now Jason's on the property. Um, everyone is uh, aware because Jared Padalecki's telling them, and they're like, "We don't believe that." And then like uh, uh, the other guy, Lawrence, the, I Lawrence, think, yeah. Lawrence grabs oh, he grabs a walk as like a shield. Like there has to be knives to be grabbed first of all. Like that's the first thing I'm grabbing. But- Shield second, but yeah. I mean, cool improv using the walk. But also, this is like the fox catcher estate. <laughs> there has to be guns somewhere yeah. on this property. Well, we find one later. But to your what you're talking yes. about, though, there's there should be a wall of guns. These are rich white assholes that have a cabin in the woods. There's so there's rifles some old from the axes, Civil War. Maybe? Yeah, he's like Chewy. I gotta go save Chewy, and everyone's like, Ah, good luck with that, dude. And he's like, No, <laughs> everyone, who's coming with me? And everyone's like, ah, I'm good. Try Friends like I'm reviewing my sex tape performance. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom for a long time. <laughs> I'm going to try the cops again. Larry went to take a shit. <laughs> I guess I'm going by myself. <laughs> so uh, he goes and checks it out. He gets into a little bit of a scuffle with Jason. Kinds of fucks him up a little bit. Yeah, which he is stabs nice. him. I think or gets him with something. He cuts him in the leg. I think yeah. is the deal, and gets him again. And then he like runs back to the house. And this is Jason was in a fucking loggerhead tournament because. <laughs> yeah. he fucking throws this axe over his head and nails this dude in the back. I mean, there are actually uh, bars now that you can <laughs> drink and learn how to throw axes. It's actually a fun time if you if you ever have some time. Yo, the uh, axe-throwing competitive community is uh, really robust here in southwest New Jersey. It's hard to find a community that accepts you for who you are. <laughs> and these people took me in. 
And I love them. And I'm just a guy throwing an axe, (laughs) trying to love you. You know, it's weird. I was the only guy there looking to throw axes. Everyone else was there for craft beer and axes. (laughs) And it turns out I like craft beer, too. It just I didn't know that because I never had it before. But there, here I am. The weird thing was, though, I was the only one there that wanted to throw these axes (laughs) at people. And everybody else wanted to use a target. Excuse me, I, 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 you know, I'm just, my first time here. Don't have to get over <laughs> overheated about it. Now it's a weird thing. I think even though he's doing this, like he, in this movie, he's like a fucking weird survivalist, yeah. whatever. I think they're giving him too much credit at this point because, like, Lawrence gets the axe and he falls over and he's like, he- he's still alive, <laughs> and he's like, help me, come on, please, someone help me, and they make a move to go outside and Padalecki's like, no, 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 no. He's setting a trap for you. Yes. I was like, shut the <laughs> no, fuck no, up. No, this is just a ca- this is a Steve Sadak cowardly move of like, oh no, if we go, it's a trap. It's, he's playing three-dimensional chess. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what he wants us to do. Let's stay inside where it's safe. <laughs> and meanwhile, Jason's like, a trap? Well, it's a pretty good idea. I, I wish that. I thought of it. <laughs> oh God, I wish I could just go home and listen to more of the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, I'm so behind on Corolla. Uh, Jason finishes him <laughs> off. Did you hear he had Gavin McGinnis on the other <laughs> night? I was looking forward to that episode all week. Yo, that guy's got some good ideas. Yikes. I can't believe what those animals did to Andy No, though. That's messed up. <laughs> you know? Have you heard about Antifa? <laughs> what about Antifa? <laughs> Um, it's a concrete milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're anti Tifa. <laughs> uh, oh, anyway, like, man, uh, the was, whole like move against a- Antifa, anti fascist. Exactly. You know what the fa means, don't you? No, they don't. No, they, they don't. truly they're don't. They're into the fa. Yeah, so they're, they're very the into fa. the fa. Uh, pro fa. We're pro fa. They're anti <laughs> anti fa. We're pro fa. Um, so but blah blah blah. Uh, J- at this point, Trent gets a gun. The cops are on their way. The cop shows up, and I kind of and Jason's in the house doing. He kills uh the girl, the, the camera girl, by oh. shoving her into an antler, which I think is a kill from another movie. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah. There and the is. first season of Hannibal. <laughs> Shoves her in an antler. She's dead. Um, and like I kind of and Jason actually looks out the window and sees the cop car, and I kind of want him to go, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, fuck. The H is O. He takes his mask <laughs> off. Oh, oh, what seems to be the problem, officer? It's fucking just a, eyeballs. I out. was <laughs> just uh, taking a midnight stroll, and uh, these teens started pranking me. <laughs> I, I just, I'm going to go home now to my legal abode, which is up this road right here. <laughs> Officer, I believe they're Antifa. <laughs> uh, my address? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 123 Fake Street. <laughs> I like the idea of him trying to outmaneuver the cops. Anyway, Officer, would you like to buy some weed or kerosene? <laughs> uh, um, I have this pornographic magazine you can lick. Uh, last Wednesday, I was at an alcohol bar, uh, and then I went to the movies to see a movie. We're all joking, but this is actually how libertarians talk. <laughs> Afterwards, I ate dinner at a hamburger restaurant. Uh, but no, he actually kills this cop. But he pulls- it's, it's so, like... Get not, this cop this out of this movie, man. Who yeah. needs him? He it's just an okay to... kill, though. Like, well, it's like, it's eye. like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a poker right through the door, right through the eye. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. not too bad, but it's like at least in, uh, I'm thinking of uh, part six, Jason Lives, where there's the sheriff who looks exactly like John Carpenter. Yes, and he has a stake in it because, like, the the uh, Tommy Jarvis's lady friend is his daughter. Yeah, that's right. You know, and he's like, "You better stay away from he's my a daughter." Character. It's a thing. Yeah, yes. this guy has two scenes. One, he fucking tells Jared Padalecki that his sister's probably dead, <laughs> and then the second scene, he gets a fucking poker in the eye. Okay. Um, and now everybody's running away. Trent has a gun, and he's oh, like this trying is a great to thing, use though. it. It's kind of fun. Well, he's a good guy with a gun, dude, and he fucking <laughs> hears something behind a door and fires like a maniac, and it turns out he's just shooting the corpse of the woman he just fucked. Which is kind of it's a kind of a thing where it's like, oh, she's dead, but he's not sure if he killed her or not. It's kind of great because he he like pushes the door open and he looks through and he sees her there and he's like, hmm. 
and he closes the door, and then he's like, yeah, he got her. Yes. He got her, too. <laughs> and he then tries to get away in the squad car, and Jason throws her corpse onto the windshield and breaks yep. it. Mm -hmm. And that's enough for him to run away? Come on, dude. Start that engine. <laughs> exactly. Like, I know the windshield's fucked up, but come on. It's a fucking meat wagon now. Just drive. <laughs> and he, he runs away, and Jason gets him. Jason pretty much impales him in the middle of the shit. No, I'm sorry. He, uh, he finds a car to hitch with. This is a weird thing because the driver. movie doesn't the end the story. No, the movie yeah. tries to get you to think at this moment yes. that Jason Voorhees is driving a pickup truck. Which, which you would believe because he's fucking, he's buying groceries at this point. He's sharpening sure. a machete on a fucking but, wheel. I mean, he's conf Jason's confirmed at that house from throwing that corpse. You just ran through the woods to this road. Yeah. And you think the first car that comes along is magically <laughs> Jason? Yeah, it's a good point. But I the mean, movie's a weird, like, because the car slowly rolls yeah. to a stop. The hand slowly comes out of the window and, like, beckons him to come kind of a thing. You hear Joe Rogan coming out from uh, the window. <laughs> the My next screen. guest, Alex Jones. <laughs> uh, did you ever see me on news radio, Alex Jones? Oh, yes, I did. That was a classic, classic performance and a classy show. Except for that, that, that Antifa Phil Hartman. <laughs> 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 uh, I forgot that Alex Jones can't enjoy anything. No, There's always more of a John Lovitz man on that show. <laughs> they always ask me. They always say that Stephen Root looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh bullshit! Stephen Root's crying somewhere. But so he, uh, while he's trying to get into this car, but he's a little too afraid. Jason gets him, impales him, and this guy's got a bunch of antlers on the back of his pickup truck. He shoves this kid, kid on the antlers. It's not antlers. There's, it's some like tow oh, truck spi spike oh, okay. or some yeah, shit. Yeah, it's some weird like spike. Yeah. It's a thing that I've never seen a real tow truck actually have. But this guy drives away and he's like, thanks for the kid corpse, Jason. I'm yes. going to use this later. <laughs> thanks so much. It's like some old man. He's like, why won't my car start? <laughs> oh, it's that Jason again. I haven't seen him in years. <laughs> But yeah, he just drives away, and Jason's like, "Bye bye." Maybe they have an un, uh, like an uh, uneasy alliance. You sure, know? like yeah. oh, that's my neighbor. <laughs> oh, he can smell him, maybe, and he's like, <laughs> "Smells like towny." Oh yeah, Jason. He, you know what? He just lets me taxidermy all his vac, all of his victims. <laughs> oh my god! And it's just, it's the funnest thing in the world for me. I don't have any other hobbies. See, that, that would be an actually interesting angle for this movie if Jason had like a surrogate father that was like trying to make him. Or if the town was evil or something. Yeah. Ooh, evil town. Most yeah. towns are, though. Most towns are evil, for sure. <laughs> so uh, kind of the last it's the, I mean, it's the last the, bit here. They run away. They find Whitney. In, they go. Whitney is back in the cellar again. <laughs> kid is back on the escalator, dude. <laughs> uh, they, they get her. They, and, like, they're trying to get her out. And this is the thing. If I'm Daniel Pennebaker. So Daniel Pennebaker, he's, uh, uh, Pat, like, he's like, oh, my God, my sister, I love you so much. Are you okay? And she's like, he's coming. He's coming. And it's like, oh, let's let's fix the lock. Or they're trying to cut it open or something like that. Yeah. If I'm dead. I'm like, I will see you guys in fucking Pennsylvania because yeah. goodbye. <laughs> like, uh, Jared Padalecki, I have known you for less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, other girl, we've never met. I'm sorry you were kidnapped and we've, chained in this mine shaft. We found your sister, so now you're less hot to me. So that's, <laughs> you got that. That's one strike. Oh. Here's my number if your brother dies or something <laughs> like that. Then I might be interested again. Oh, he's going to probably spend all that time that we would have spent kissing, like, Bring her back to life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, helping her to readjust to society. Helping yeah. her deal with her trauma. Ugh. But we see more of these expansive minds, and I thought, like, shit, I was I was just surprised there wasn't like a, a giant penny or a dinosaur. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> No, but an awesome dude. If all of a sudden they took like a fucking Temple of Doom like minecart ride, yeah, that'd be pretty. Sweet. All I'm asking for that would have made it better, honestly. Oh yeah, in this Pattinson fucking Batman movie, yes. give me the giant penny and give me the dinosaur. That's two yeah. things I need in the Batcave. Anything else you want to do, you can do what you want to do. Were they ever explained? Uh, I think sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends. I mean, like there's a a, a cool animated series episode where. Two Face, they showed the penny where he yeah. flips it. Yes, I do. And, and, and there's a big penny that Batman's like attached to. Yes. I do remember that, but that dinosaur. <laughs> I mean, I don't. What was the Joker fucking with John Hammond one episode? I, I think I think Batman busted John Hammond. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Batman! <laughs> We're going to stuff this, Alfred. <laughs> that hurt, Batman. 
Um, I don't have to save you. <laughs> oh, God. He drops him into a dinosaur pit. We have a Riddler. Uh, <laughs> But so Daniel Pennebaker is like, oh, come on, guys, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Right. And they finally get going. And wouldn't you know it, he get she gets it right to the fucking throat or whatever. Yeah, she's totally impaled. And if machete. she had a head start, because those fucking that's the thing is they're your they're Jason's problem, not yours. Yeah. And I gotta say also, these it's a brother and sister, mm-hmm. clearly very close. The mother has died of cancer, we're told. Mm-hmm. This weird hillbilly part of fucking Jersey. I don't know. I think we got some kissing siblings coming yeah, out here. Yeah, it could be. She should. Danielle Pennebaker should have uh, read the writing on the wall, dude, and just fucking got out of there. They're going to be making out. Oh, yeah. who is this? Your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, so she's dead. So she's dead. They find one of Jason's exits, and it winds up in the fucking Christopher McCandless bus from Into the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's weird is they spend the last few minutes of this movie running through sets of previous films because yeah. it's like camp crystal like obviously like mm. part one and all of them but then like the ha- like the house cabin thing they're back there for a little bit that's yeah. part two they go to a barn that's part, part three. three jason yeah. winds up in the barn. a turned over bus is very He's similar into to the-, the wild yeah <laughs> jason's like i shouldn't have killed that moose <laughs> you accidentally ate poison berries while you were starving chris mccandless that's what killed you we oh, found out marisha gay harden is uh mrs Voorhees. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit great casting yeah the but the overturned bus is very much like the overturned rv in part six Oh, yeah. And I, you see Jason standing yeah. on the top of it, just like in that movie. I, I think this October I'm going to do a rewatch. Oh, it's, it's a good it's been a while. Oh, yeah. Is that it's... different from any other October? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Chris. I will say we are recording this on Thursday, September the twelfth. That's right. Tomorrow so, is Friday the thirteenth. Look out for Tunnel Man. <laughs> Tunnel Man coming this Friday the thirteenth. He's digging your doom. <laughs> yes. Dude, Tunnel Man, dude. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, yeah, so th- there's a, bu- a bunch of bus business. We do wind up in the barn, which is kind of the last minute. Here. And this is where Whitney uses the it's okay to stop bit yeah. from part two when the girl puts on the sweater yeah. and pretends to be the mother. Yeah, so she, yeah, he's about to kill Jared Padalecki. There's a, the wood chipper. Is, I feel like Jason goes into this barn and he's like, Oh boy. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, <laughs> yeah, totally. There's a wood chipper. It's a fucking edged weapon barn. Dude, he's a freak in a candy store. <laughs> uh and says, Oh boy, oh boy. He puts on the the, the uh what do you call it? The, the the wood chipper is on. Uh she distracts him. Padlecki gets him with a bear with a bear trap on the shoulder. Wrong fucking angle. Maybe he missed. Because that's got to go around the head, straw dog style. The head of the balls, yeah. dude. One or the other. You know, god damn it. When I watched Fargo, they had an open thing for the wood chipper. <laughs> this is a tiny hole. How am I supposed to get this fucking body in here? You know, some days I love my job, but other days, just gosh darn it. <laughs> you know what? We're going to chop you up first. Then we're putting you in the wood chipper. Uh, we're going to chop you oh, up first the cop, and then into the wood chipper. The cops find Jason just like pushing a foot into the wood chipper. <laughs> then he runs around in the snow. God, my arms are starting to hurt. <laughs> All that for a little bit of money. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, then, like, Whitney uh, gets... Wraps, uh, uh, the, the, chain the chain's around wrapped around his neck, and he's getting, like, pushed towards the chipper and whatever. But he's it, getting hung through it. He gets hung know? first, but yeah. then it comes down, and then yeah. it turns into the wig of thing. It's like, ah, oh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> like, his head starts going towards it, and then she has the line... Say hi to mommy, 15 second beat <laughs> in hell. It's not good. And pushes him into the thresher. And it's such a fucking obvious sequel setup because, like, he's not weird to believe in this film supernatural in any yeah. way. It kind of just, like, clinks him on the back of the head a little yeah. bit and mm-hmm. stops. Push that shit all the way through. Oh my God. What if he had brain damage? Like, I don't know how to whittle anymore. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I now forgot he be- my name. Now he becomes Jason. That exactly. We know. Right. <laughs> this is oh, the origin dude, story. Dude, origin story. Flowers for Jason Voorhees. <laughs> uh, but then there's a. It, this movie ends with a dipshit jump scare. Well, well, this is, well, hold on a second. They're throwing him in the lake. Yes. Call what? the fucking cops. <laughs> exactly. What are you covering up every murder? Here's a First question. Of all, you, got, you got a dead cop on your hands, Eric. You are definitely calling the cops. Like this guy did it. That guy, hey, hey, that guy right exactly. there. I know his fucking head is hamburger, yes. but it was that guy that definitely did so it. So you you called us and then you said this should tie it all I'll tie it all up in a nice little bow. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's that mad killer. Uh, your police report just says this ought to do it. <laughs> uh, did I see a wrong thing here? Was like yes, this I mean, movie probably, but like they're hucking him into the into the lake and whatever. Yeah. So like the hockey mask has to fall. Yes. Did I see a detached leg like fucking Jaws? I because then I was like, did they? Chop him up. I don't remember because that's remember, the yeah. move. Honestly, yes. well, yeah, oh, yeah. If you're gonna do that, but I would still again call them. That's the cops' problem. I mean, yeah. it's just throwing him in the lake for potential sequel setup or furthering the mythos or showing you shit you already know from the other movies. Well, because then he jumps up through the dock like part seven and like grabs, grabs that woman, and then that's we cut. That's the end yeah. of the movie. Not a great ending. No. Not a great movie. And no. <laughs> I mean, this was like the top of the box office that weekend. Yeah, thanks we to, went. Thanks to us. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Our, our four tickets purchased. And then it dropped down. But this was one of the highest grossing Friday the 13th movies, and it couldn't garner a sequel, which is surprising. I don't know how they fucked that up, but I still think to this day, your idea, Eric, is yes. the best idea for a new Friday the 13th movie off season Friday the thirteenth. Have that shit in winter. Yes, that's all I want. Is, is Jason with fucking? His, you can see his breath. Yeah. Yep. Jason and killing the rich. That was the other part of it. <laughs> killing the rich. Well, that's that's a fucking. It's up the there book. somewhere. I have that book. It's like Crystal Lake literature. Yeah. It's called uh, Hate Kill Repeat. I believe mm. is what it is. And in this universe, like developers have made. Like rich people vacation lodges on Camp Crystal Lake, and Jason is furious at the way his neighborhood <laughs> yeah. is being gentrified. I mean, the fucking Ready or Not is out now. It's been doing pretty good. Yeah. Just go that way with it. Oh, you people I will show up. Okay, but do we really? I mean, again, I like the micro brews. I like the Axe Bar. The Axe Bar I like. Uh, <laughs> but do we really need three bookstores? Come on, guys. Did Crystal Lake need a Tesla dealership? Oh, this is ridiculous. Nobody in this town knows how to drive. Look at all these hillbillies. We're walking everywhere. Or just you do the direct ready or not mashup where he's like, oh, I, yes, I love you. Uh, wait, your family's hunting me now? <laughs> Bring it on. They're in for a big surprise. Oh, man, great crossover. I've not seen that movie, but that is. A, yeah, they're like, oh, yeah. Well, we're going to take your hulking, bizarre, fiat, your, your groom. <laughs> it's just like a team in a tuxedo. Like, well, he seems like easy prey. He's wearing a hockey mask. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Impeccable pressed black tux. Yeah. Also disgusting well, hockey mask. When I graduated from Dartmouth, you <laughs> see, uh, they, a part of the graduation is they gave me a hockey mask because they call me the goalie. <laughs> oh, that's Are you e right? That's an evil school. <laughs> uh that's the end of this movie would anybody recommend it it's not no it's a no because again like you should literally watch even like the batter like even like the new blood is and uh uh a new beginning it's just got the 80s sheen which i need for my friday movies and maybe it's i'm yeah. the oldest man in the room but that's what i need and it's You're not right. here and no it, it has to and happen. this comes off really soulless and kind of joyless and not a lot of fun. It's it's a it's a it's a light no for me. It's not it's not as bad as I remember it, but I still don't need it. Yeah, I mean that is the real issue. Is like this is probably as about as good as I would expect from like no thought at all. Yeah. update of this material, and it yeah. just looks like garbage. Yeah. Like I miss the grain. I miss the darkness of those old like. You know, so just, much of this movie takes place during the day. And yeah. again, the moon is a mile <laughs> away. You can see everything even in the middle fucking night. There's it's, even when there's lightning flashing towards the end of the movie, it's just them throwing like flicking switches on giant lights. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like the big paddock lights. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's a no, but again, like again, I don't know other than going high concept like rich people or winter um, <laughs> high concept. That's Winter. middle. That's middle concept. But I, you know, I would also say no. But like, if you're gonna make a new Friday the Thirteenth movie, why not just set it in the eighties? Why not put it in? That's the what old, I want. Yeah, yeah. Just put it in like after Takes Manhattan or something. Put it into somewhere in the old continuity. Because that's the, that's the raddest part of Jason X is when they use that holodeck program to make yes. it the eighties. Yeah, and you're like. Oh, yeah. Now this feels right again. And then suddenly you're not concerning yourselves with cameras and cell phones yeah. and whatever the fuck else. That and shit, just it just doesn't it. translate. There's yeah. something about 
slasher genre on the whole, I think, honestly, where like most of it feels fine in the 80s and anything after that doesn't. Like, I love the David Gordon Green Halloween that came out last yeah. year. I truly love it. I think it's a great movie. I think Jimmy Lee Curtis is great in it. But there is still something about it where I'm like, they should be wearing bad clothes yeah. and having bad haircuts. So th- things I think a lot of people disrespect horror fans in the way that they don't think they'd be into a period piece or yeah. understand a period piece. Like, right. oh, well, they just want blood and guts and we're doing it now because you live now and that's scary. But it's so dumb because look how much horror fans loved House of the Devil, the exactly. Ty West film. Yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, would be and, great and how the this. entire world loved Stranger Things. Like, you know what right. I mean? Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the direct exactly. line. It just reminds us of a better time. <laughs> well, in one way or another, yeah, not, <laughs> not every way. <laughs> oh, really? They're putting a sweet green in here. <laughs> <laughs> that is Friday the Thirteenth, two thousand nine, directed by Marcus Nispel. If you want more We Hate Movies, check out patreoncom slash We Hate Movies. Uh, coming up this month, I think we should just say it right here. Let's say it, dude. Mm-hmm. The We Love Movies bonus episode on patreoncom slash We Hate Movies for the month of October is Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. So, I yeah. you know, we recorded that a couple weeks ago. It was a lot of fucking fun. The response to the We Love Movies initiative has been really great. So check that out, patreon.com slash we hate movies this month for the spooktacular We Love Movies, The Shining. So speaking of the spooktacular, we are just getting started here in We Hate Movies. Uh, so it rolls on next week. Steve, what are we talking about? Final Destination 3, what mm. I've been told is the good one. <laughs> yeah, that's is. what it's, I keep hearing. It is 100% the good one. The better one. Is this but, one with the roller coaster? Yes. Okay. I believe. Yes, yes. and Mary Elizabeth Winston. And photo- nice. photographs are predicting 9-11 and all these other things. But by the way, <laughs> uh-huh. be sure to check out our previous episode from this past April, I think, on... Final Destination numero uno. Right. The yes. origin of yes. the SMID riff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you're mad that we're skipping number two, you can SMID. There it is. Yeah. Wow. So until next week with Final Destination 3, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cavan. Eric Siska. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.